Welcome back to the Ramble Cast. We have the two fan favorites. Uh, Matt is back from vacation. How was your vacation, Matt? Uh, it was good. It was it wasn't quite a long vacation. Didn't have Nick. Did you have a song? No. Oh, like sorry, it. I wasn't paying attention. I had a couple in mind, but I didn't get <laughs> I didn't get back here until about six thirty, and it just wasn't. Oh, okay. Uh, I could have hey, played. Matt. I could have played one, but I wouldn't have had any lyrics. You know. So I was like, yeah. Matt, you, Matt, 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 Matt. You see how I deflect. You know, like I deflect, like no. Let's he went on. A, he went on a crime spree in San Francisco. He figured it was the one place he could get away with it. So he just, yeah. You know. well, I really everything's free there, isn't? It? I really wasn't in San Francisco, but one day. Bro, that's, that's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did fly out of uh, the San Francisco airport, so I guess I was there three is times. Still, is but... it still a dump, the San Francisco airport? I didn't. I didn't think it was a dump. Not compared it's been a while, to. It's been, it's been a while since I've been there. I mean, I flew, I flew through, I flew through Raleigh, and I was a little. I thought that was a bit sus. Yeah. Just saying. It doesn't okay. Work if you well, well, actually, Raleigh, they've actually spruced it up. They've actually. You mean with yeah. those yeah. chairs? They sprayed some the... Lysol in there. Yeah. Okay. The spray... yeah. I don't know. Some of those wings, maybe, maybe I haven't been down through some of those wings. But wait, no, I flew, I, I flew, I flew through Raleigh wings. when I went to, uh, I think Disney last year, and I was like, it's like what? Anyway, um, I did. Hey, I, good... I don't claim Raleigh is. is I don't oh. defend it. Well, well I mean, you've I lived there the majority of your life now, Jack, and yet you no, 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 no. Not yet. That's that's how I feel about Indiana. <laughs> I gotta I've be. Here, I gotta be seventy nine before now, so. I've lived the majority of my life oh. here. Mm. Well, oh. good for you. Yeah. So there you good go. For you. Um. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good topics. Uh, if you know how's where Chris I, is at, he said. How was how was last week? Catch me up to speed. It, it was you know, awesome. give me a previously the best on episode ever. Oh, yeah, really? I, I, that's what people were saying. That's shocking. I don't know why, but they were saying it just it yeah. was smooth. It well, was, you it, you you can only like an hour. You, and you, you you can only get glad hand by John the retired guy so hard, um, or so much I should say. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll give you the rundown. So okay, the rundown. Jack was a little out of the weather. He seems to be okay now. He he still no, sounds. I'm, st I'm, st I'm still sick. I'm, still but okay. I'm pushing he, through he, it, especially with all this stupid pollen in the air. My yeah. God. You, you you sound how my back still feels. So yeah. Okay. Uh, Chris I built was... a computer. That's what I've been hearing. You Chris know. Computer. Uh, we got into assembling Legos and furniture. I don't remember what that was about. Okay. Uh, we um, kind of and... recap the Oscars and a couple of movies. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Then we were Even trying none, to... Yeah. None of us watched the Oscars. Yeah, none of us watched them. But yeah, yeah, I don't think I didn't. But we tried to keep it a short episode, but then I brought up who is the greatest NFL player of all time. Oh, Jesus. Jack went on a what tirade. Were for, <laughs> what you know, were you? Actually, it wasn't me, was it? Mm -hmm. yeah, That'd no. be like saying, like, hey, guys, let's keep it a short show. And then like at hour 55, you're like, hey, guys, um, who do you think is the greatest baseball player? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, well who, what, what, who's what, the what? greatest San Diegan, guys? Hey, who, yeah, who do you yeah, think? Well, the, that would be a good versus. Yeah. Huh? Uh, well, I, it stops. It stops right here. I mean. It stops right there. Well, it's got to be Ron Burgundy. You, you know who? You know who would comment and say, "Well, he's technically wasn't born there." Yeah, I get that. I would get that a lot uh, from yourself. Now, yeah. I, maybe I could be the greatest York Pennsylvanian of all. Ooh. Even that yeah. would be. I'd have to because you watch Ghosts, right? Oh yeah, ghosts. The, the show ghosts. The up to, the uh, what's her name? The I'm uh, up to speed. I've I've watched the the woman season. plays the uh, oh she died in the 1800s. She likes cocaine. Yes. Oh yeah. Like Who does it? She was born in York, Pennsylvania. Oh, was she? Yes. Oh, the on the show she mentions that. No, no. She in her oh real in life, real life the actress. Was oh, born the actress in real life. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I don't think the actress. The, the character would ever go to York, Pennsylvania. Yeah. She's, just she's, she's too above that. Oh, yeah. yeah like the, the actual character. Uh, Randy be. says the Mark Hamill had the best house in San Diego. Mm, so sweet. Now, not in Claremont. Didn't, didn't, didn't this, definitely have the best street. Time. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Best street. Without so Matt, what brought the topic up though, was my sister out of the blue, who's not a sports person. 
Oh, I guess it's just a random thought in her head. She went, mm -hmm. you know, if someone said who's the greatest basketball player, who's the greatest golfer, I could probably name like one or two people and be get a good. Sure. Yeah, that's probably right. She's, but who do you think is the greatest NFL player? I was like, well, that's a big debate, you know. And I was like, you know, because yeah. like you can't really just, you know, right. And there's different eras too, because exactly. a lot of a lot of players would be like, well, hey, you know, I mean, the basketball court's the basketball court, you know, not much. I mean, I know some rules have changed. You know, I'm no basketball aficionado here, even though I live in the state of it. Uh, it's like if Jim you Brand, don't like Jim basketball. Brown, Jim Brown, yeah. Jim Brown, for his yeah. Era, for his era, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But you know, he didn't maybe, play long. You know, it's, maybe the best best actor slash football player. Joe Montana? No, I'd go with Jim Brown. Jim Brown. Yeah, okay. he, was a, he was an actor. Or OJ. OJ, yeah. yeah. Well, OJ, I mean... <laughs> Let's face it, OJ was a great player. I mean, he was a great player. Just not a, <laughs> Sorry, just not yeah. a great human being. Your speed Dan, kind Dan of. Reno. It was like. Oh, I slowed down? Dan. Yeah, Dan, it, it was. Marino, at least on my Paul. end. Oh. Dan Marino. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought I saw him in a commercial recently or something i can't remember now what oh because dan ace ventura uh, right ace ventura yeah yeah i still go with jim mm. brown dirty dozen oh you can't beat the dirt dozen. did some did some westerns with uh Rocket i Walsh would stuff, I, so. I think you could also argue pele who's from san diego you know pele from victory mm-hmm yeah so. i usually watch i re, usually do a rewatch of victory like every three to four years when usually you just when are I'm, like bored with Sylvester no, Stallone's other movies, yeah. We well, usually when I'm on a plane, it runs in the mash. It runs, when, when, when you're on, on a plane, a, okay. It's a it's a good plane movie. That's okay because this, it's a long movie. This this it, is something I can talk attention. about here. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, this is something I can talk about because I was on a plane, a couple plane rides, you know, and um, for the most part, pretty good, pretty good, you know. Uh, you know, I had a lot of window seats, so I just kind of had to wait my time when you're leaving the plane. Right. Boy, on the way back home, the last flight, I had the aisle suit seat. I was ready to go as soon as that. I was like, boom, I'm up. I'm you're one of those up. people, forearm to the. To no, the no, 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 no. I'm like, I'm aisle. like every aisle at a time. I'm like, let's <laughs> yeah, just do it. Like, oh, you obey like, the rules. Yeah, I'm, there's I'm. People that, there's people that don't. I'm like, hey, this is like it's church, okay? Everybody. Oh, I guess some of you don't have morals. <laughs> now, if they do announce, hey, people, if you can let people off, that if, catch if flight, people that are catching flights, but let's face it, they know when those assholes are just, they're lying. I was having I was having to catch a flight because I just went and I was like, oh, man, my, my plane's going to board here in 15 minutes. I need to catch some food on the way to the plane. I was in Minneapolis. And here's this. I'm trying to be polite every aisle at their time. But here's this woman that's like, OK, maybe she sounded a little Californian. Okay, especially northern Californian. Well, you know, they're, like, rude, they're rude north of she's anything like, north of San oh, Diego. They're rude. She's like, Oh, hey, oh, do you want a sandwich still? And her and her daughter's just like in the middle of the aisle here where we're all kind of like a wave of people, like, you know, she, oh, do you still want that? And the dad's just like, uh, duh, duh. and I'm like, Okay, stoners. Okay, like California accent. Wake up, wake the fuck up. Like you can't you can't this is not the time to let your indigo child, you know, have their stay at oh, whatever. I, I didn't Sorry. Think that was a big you, Jack? I got hmm? he no, hates kids. He, he, no, you know the the, the <laughs> I know I know exactly what you're talking oh, about. Yeah. The people you like go, geez, because everybody <laughs> Nick's, can't, Nick's like <laughs> it's 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 I've always said this. I go because I'll sit there and go. Everyone's in such a I hate hurry to get on the plane. I, get on the plane, but when they get on the plane, they stand in the aisles. It's like yeah. going, put your I'm fucking like, bag down so we can get if, going. If if you're not getting off the plane right now, then get your child out of the aisle. Like I have no yes, problem with kids. I, I, I've traveled with kids. Traveling with kids is hard, but this is not the time to let them explore the world and experience it. La la la. I don't know. Sorry. Five I, days. I, had, I, I think I'm no. Five days. In, three days. Let's just say four days in California, and I'm already jaded. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that, that, that happens. That you start thinking you're better than everybody else. Um, but no, I, I was in. I think aisle. he thought that after leaving California, that he thought. He was oh wait, uh, Chris is there, and he's probably been sitting there for a long time. Hey, Chris. Yeah, three minutes, my ass. Have you been sitting uh, there a long time? 
And it's he's normal. It's normal, Chris. It's not floating head, Chris. He's, he's muted. It's old school, Chris. Uh, but I was on a plane, and I'm standing in the aisle okay. waiting my turn for everything to. Because I, what I do now, he his hair. is I stand mm. up right away. If I'm because I'm on the aisle seat, I stand up and get in. Yeah. The like, aisle. You, yeah. Because I I don't want fifty people, and you you look at them like, come on, people. So I get right. up, stand there, and this lady is pushing on me. Oh, geez. I go, hey, you know, I just let you know, we're not moving. Yeah. She goes, what? I go, you keep pushing me. I go, we're not moving. Just uh, kind of like, she goes, oh, I'm sorry. I go, well, you didn't see me move, and you pushing me is not going to make me go any, because you're pushing me into the other people. Because they're looking at me. I'm like going, it's 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 dummy behind me. <laughs> Have you seen that, that clip? I've only seen it like twice, where it's it's clearly a blonde woman who is... Whoa, sure whoa, whoa, way. whoa! Well, Jeez. I don't mean it as a blonde, yeah, as like a straight up blonde woman, but like she's she's fluffing her hair and throwing okay. her hair over the back of the seat, and her uh, hair is blocking the the screen for the person. <laughs> and the woman, you, you know, it, it fast forwards like to later, and like her entire hair is just full of gum, like she's clearly <laughs> I've, been, like I've eating seen gum and like just sticking it in her hair the whole time. It's like, oh wow, oh wow, yeah, okay. Two two thoughts. One, the person in front of me, and there's an SNL skit about being the man that watches the man that watches the the video. It was part of the Josh Brolin. I don't know. I caught SNL from, but basically, I start watching the person's movie just kind of slightly ahead of me, and it's they're watching Bridesmaids. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm familiar with this movie, but I forgot about the whole sex scene you know i mean it's it's there's but between her uh john ham and uh oh she was from snl what's her name surprised that played uh, on tina fey she's like what's well, not tina fey uh, uh, kristen Biden. wig uh kristen no no wig? nope um she played the the target lady um kristen God. wig no it's not oh is it, yeah is it yeah it's kristen wig yeah sorry i'm thinking of somebody else brain fart you no know, matt treese was in there going jack's right jack's right for once jack's I, right now, was this so, was she watching it on her personal device or was it actually on the plane? No, it was on the plane. Wow, the, I was shocked. The, yeah. And so I was like, I'm like there and I'm like, wow, they really, they really went for this. And it's humorous, but I'm like, mm -hmm. this is okay. You know, like, it's, what's happening here? Um, so it's kind of funny, like, like what people, the other thing about the hair behind dipping on the back, I don't know if anybody's caught up with Curb Your Enthusiasm. No. But there's a curb your enthusiasm that involves him putting his jacket on the back of a of a chair, oh. Oh. and it's it's pretty it's pretty funny. Well, Larry's so. Larry's a rude guy. Larry's the rude guy, but then Larry's somebody does it to him, yeah. and there's a there's a you know in a very this is a good season. I've I've enjoyed well, it. I have I keep forgetting about it because uh, well, I just do. I finally finished. Uh, well, we never finished. Uh, what's the best movie for, for a plane though? Well, oh yeah, what is the best movie for a plane, Chris? I usually I usually take it. movies that I've watched before, yeah, and I like because I don't want to get because I did that uh, Bone Tomahawk, which I guess I could give another try because I was really tired. I didn't like it. Bone Tomahawk, but it's Kurt Russell and I think Matthew Fox is in it. I think huh. I just hated it. People are like, are you crazy? That's a great movie. I go, oh, I hated it. I couldn't wait for it to end. It was so bored. Um, hey. Jackie, I I, Jackie Robinson's 42 was pretty boring. I go, how can you make Jackie Robinson's life boring? But you did it. Um, so I usually I usually stick with the, I'm going to pick movies I know I like. And that's why I go with like uh, Victory, because it's a good movie. You got Hatch. <laughs> uh, I, you're, you're screwed. This whole war screwed up my soccer game. Screwed up my plans. That was more Spicoli, but I'm sorry. But I, I, I was going to mention... Have you guys ever watched a movie on a plane and you think it's really good, but you know, it tells you like, uh, that's what I'm saying. I was shocked about Matt saying it was like the actual movie. Cause like a lot of times you'll say like this movie has been edited for, you know, the plane. Oh, mm -hmm. and I remember the one that comes to mind when this situation is like, I was watching uh, Mr. Fantastic with Viggo Mortensen on the plane. Uh, this is the first time I mm -hmm. saw it. And it actually is a really <laughs> good movie, mm -hmm. but when you watch the actual theatrical version, it's got like a you know full frontal from from Vico. It's got like other stuff in it that's not going to be on the plane edit, you know. And I'm going like well, my my mom saw it was like was watching it while I was watching it on the plane. She's like, "This looks good. I'm going to watch it when I get back." And then she calls me like a week later. She's like, "Wow, 
wow, that, that movie had a lot more stuff to it. <laughs> you know, when you get home, you're like, oh, okay. And, but that's what I mean. Like, would you, have, is the, have you ever experienced that where like it's a totally different movie from the, from the airplane versus? Um, I don't know if I've ever experienced it different. I mean, I remember back in the old days where they just have one screen, mm-hmm. you know, and yeah. those were sometimes, you know, like they'd show TV shows or stuff like that. And personally, I'm kind of of the like, I want to bring something that I'm currently watching. So I'll just yeah. download episodes, but I try to get a variety so that if I'm ever kind of like not in the mood for this thing, I still have. So I was able to watch Bad Batch on the on the airplane. Oh, nice. However, here's a big, and I think this is a like, if you're thinking about an airplane show or movie, something to keep in mind. There's an episode recently, which is almost completely dark. Like it's hard to see because there's a lot of action happening in the dark, and on any kind of device, yeah, you, can't it, you just it just it's it's just you bad. About the, current, the current episode, the bad not day? the one that just not the one that just dropped, but the one before that. So the current one that I just watched was called Bad Territory. That's the yeah, that's this week's yeah. The one before that, okay. um, actually were, the two, two the two released yeah yeah. Back, yeah. Those two had some dark scenes, but this current one, Bad Territory, even has a darker scene. Yeah, where I'm a just lot like, of dark stuff, yeah. I was like, okay, am I, am I just getting old? <laughs> Is this? <laughs> I'm just I can't it see it. So, I, I actually yeah, like I to. Uh, I like to download uh, Ramblecast episodes when I go fly, and I oh. wait for Chris to speak, and like <laughs> it's just the it's suspense, usually the suspense kills me. It's it, usually it's like right. waiting, waiting for him to for like that that one jewel of like goodness, and sometimes it happens like a good seventeen minutes into the episode, like he just doesn't say shit, which uh, is nice for the listeners. Um, yeah. I know a commercial I, break. <laughs> I downloaded uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High once, and at exactly next- seventeen minutes is when I'll speak. <laughs> The lady Here I am. The lady hey. next, yeah, I got upset. I kept pausing it during a scene. She didn't oh, think, yeah. She didn't think it was appropriate for her seven year old son to be watching on my computer. And just freeze frame, and then you walked into freeze the bathroom. Frame. Yeah, walked into the bathroom. Part of the Mile came, High Club. Came back, yeah, came back out and said, okay, <laughs> I can finish the movie now. Because I, I left it on pause, where, you know. But, you know, I try to be polite. I try to be polite when I'm on a plane. You know what's I, weird is, is, uh, I'd only seen um, who's the other lead female in that movie? Um, Jennifer Jason Lee. Jennifer Jason Lee. I, I'd only seen her in that movie, uh, back Backdraft, and uh, Single White Female. Right. Uh, and then I remember in 2005 going to see at the Sundance Film Festival. She was there promoting a film, and I just remember going like, "Fuck, you got old." <laughs> you know, I mean, like it's because like. She's like 18, you know, and fast. Even that, she's so young. And then, like, shit. And then that's it's kind of how I look at all four of us, too, though. Except you, because you don't age. I don't age, yeah. Like, and you saw it. Like, there's a picture of Chris and I sitting next to each other 15 years ago. And you look at Chris, you're like, fuck, what happened? But I'm I'm exactly the same. The Boston look. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and the, I mean, Jack has a picture of what I looked like about 15 years ago so the banana okay uh, what did you think of this week's uh choice i like uh, i i like banana, the, banana tour i like the fact that uh nick could use the phrase um are you being entertained you are know you not entertained? oh are you not entertained fuck are I you not in, i i was gonna use that as the thing the and i yeah. go eh, i just don't like it just it, um, the banana's not working on that one so mm. hmm um chris well let's get chris in this conversation yeah what? so the, re- the the reason why um <laughs> i'm a little bit late slash different setup here is that um i no longer have a mac oh, oh yeah you're using your custom yeah. i have I, I built a pc and that's what i'm that's what i'm rocking in my office oh, now okay. <laughs> um the only problem is windows sucks <laughs> uh well, and I, yeah I, takes- first of all, I have to reinstall Bluetooth drivers to get my Bluetooth stuff to work, which is why I'm wearing the, this, these headphones. Oh. Um, 
yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. I like um, that you have these two extremes, Chris. You have the the headset, right? Yeah. Which is like I like cutting edge, right? Of Mac. Yeah. And then you've gone like well, oh, it's oh, not. oh yeah, the Vision Pro. Yeah. Yeah, the Vision I, Pro. And then you've gone to this where where you've you've built your own computer. You know, it's very kind of I think like, that's the shortest cruise. Dude, you're getting a Dell. Uh, uh Sherry actually went to see um what the headset. I don't know what the fuck heads up this is. What is it? It's a uh, rig, which I believe is Plantronics. It does have a microphone that pops down to Oh, actually, I can hear myself talk like this. Um, how does that sound? Well, welcome. Do I sound different? Or is I don't it know no? which. I don't know which mic's picking up which. Though, I, so yeah, I don't think. I don't think it is. So, it, 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 does this sound any different whatsoever when I put that up? Or is it sound exactly? Well, it's same? louder because you approach the mic. Okay, yeah, cool. You're... So, this is allowing me to hear pass through into my ears, which is good. So, oh, leave that on. Uh, okay, that, that's better. Excellent. Um, yeah. So the I have to reinstall the Bluetooth drivers, but I can't do that uh, while I'm using it. And this webcam that I had sucks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this thing is awful. So, but yeah, it's my new setup. That's my. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, very, very. Uh... So, and it's just an absolute disaster over there. Don't even look. Okay, but, uh, I'm looking yeah, away. Look away. Look away, little girl. <coughs> so, why is the little girl looking away? Like, what's happening? I, I there's <laughs> well, something probably. She, maybe she was on Nickelodeon. I don't know. Oh jeez! <laughs> is that is is that a song though? Look away, little girl. Look away. I think it's Donny Osmond. Oh jeez! Oh, yeah. Huh? I, is it is it Donny Osmond? I don't know. Look away, little girl. That's all I know. That I can't think of anything more of. That's the only part that you have to sing. Yeah. Look away, <laughs> little girl. Come on, some of the older people out there must know. Look away, little girl. I don't know. No. I think if, if I said older people, older people. Jesus, older crazy. than Jack. Yeah, pretty, Where's Matt Trees? I'm sure he knows. Wow, that's what I thought too. Yeah, like yeah. I did finish uh, for all mankind. Oh, I I oh. liked it. I yeah, I, I mean, thought it was, I I thought it was really good. Was it good. great? No, uh, probably not great. I mean, but it did get the last few episodes really got intense. It got yeah, it got better. And you're like, and there's two people who are not getting along. And you're like, going, come on, nobody wants to see mom and dad fight on TV. Right, right. You don't want to see it. Come on. And then you know, someone gets you know, hurt. Something happens to someone, and then then they oh no, up. mom and Kids dad are happy up. again. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I I I was pleased in what they did with the characters because like I would have been mad if that character had died. Uh, and yes. I was glad. Uh, uh, oh no! I'm yeah, actually yeah. being pretty spoiler. <laughs> it, ex, 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 especially know. when you know, know what, all those you know what that so... person's waiting for when they get back down to earth. So it's Dude. like, no, you can't do that. You're you you're narrowing the the number of characters yeah. that I'm going to see on screen, right, so, and then I'm going to know. Wait, I'm going to be like, so oh, neither it's one of you. The season has been done for like a month and a half. And I haven't even I haven't started yet. Dude, oh, he I, just finished Better Call Saul. I Let's Better Call Saul. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so yeah, like, we got to So Jack and well, I are basically on the same page then. Like you know, season 3 fucking awesome. And season 4 is good, but it's just kind of like a you know, there's it's, a, there's a, it's a segue there's a, there's a into build what up. Be a great season 5. Yeah. John the retired guys, I can't believe Mars blows up. Exactly. It's a candy bar they blow up. It's not the actual planet. Chris, when you switch to black and white, it's like now a, you're now, like you're, a now 90s, you're paler than I. You know. I'm trying to, to fix this weird. Like, Matt Matt Treese is in the who sings "Go Away, Little Girl." Come on, Matt. Go Come away, on, Matt. little girl. <laughs> do, 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 do. Anyway, uh, it might go be away go, or look away. Go, it might be go away. I don't know. Go away, and mm. I'm old enough to catch. It's Donnie. It, I said Donny Osmond, Ken. So I think it is Donny Osmond. Still kind of creepy with a look away, little girl. This camera blows. <laughs> well, you know, Donny Osmond. He's got sure, a curve. sure. Just saying. Um, he's in Hollywood. I've got a a, a depth deck, um, for my or depths oh. tech, depths. What? Tech. <laughs> it's it's my uh my whatever the uh, my my oh. camera. Oh yeah, so, camera. that I use. And I, 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 I separate one. I did start a new show called Manhunt. 
on Apple TV. It kind of peaked in the first episode. He's well, a man. <laughs> I, I, I He's like man. it because it's about a kid named Nick who goes back in time and tells John Wilk Booth, you got to kill Abraham Lincoln. And this kid's from Tennessee named Nick. Yeah. So I don't know if that uh, sounds well, like anybody we know. Did you I, I, I watched, you I watched the first mind. episode. Yeah. I use kind of it's Steve Lawrence. I don't know really, if it's really any much better than my other camera. Oh, but okay. I'm uh, now only slightly as grown, so it's uh, let's call it a day, little girl. Is that what the song is? I don't Fuck, know. This, I, this, now I, I can't keep on track. The but song I watched the first episode the of Manhunt, well, and it, it, it seems like uh, John Wilkes Booth did it just to get notoriety. Yeah, I mean, I think he was. I think he was a narcissist, and I think. Um, you know, they kind of say that, you know, his dad and his brother were more famous than he was. And so yeah. it was kind of trying to out. Spoilers on history, guys. Do them. Sorry, but uh, you really don't get, I mean, I've never really, yeah, but um, I I enjoyed the first episode. I thought it was pretty interesting. It was driving me nuts is like the last two, maybe three people I've seen portray Lincoln. They're too much trying to be uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah. And it's like, you're really just copying Andy Lewis and doing a shitty job of it. <laughs> exactly. Well, you're not. That's a that's a that's a stupid mistake to try and yeah do Daniel Day Lewis because he's a better actor than you. Sorry, sorry, Meryl Streep when you were doing Lincoln, Daniel Day Lewis a better actor. Oh but yeah, I, I I didn't like I didn't like his. He, he just seems so so uh, happy and you know. I mean, I know the war was ending and stuff like that, but it's just like. Did Lincoln make jokes like that? Was he laughing all the time? Was he doing stand up? I don't think so. He's the guy who invented the pull my finger joke, Jack. Do you not know that? Probably, yeah. I didn't I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch me pull a rabbit under my hat. <laughs> I just I didn't like the way his voice was. I I mean, I, at one point I said, "Okay, I'm going to shoot him." Yeah. I I just don't like the I'm glad they got rid of him, you know, in his puddle of blood. I, I do like how they t they, they t took Mary Todd Lincoln away. Yeah, let exactly. The, let the men do what they have to do to save your husband. Well, it's like she's doing Changes. her best. She's doing her best to 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 channel Sally Fields over the top. You know, just yes. Why didn't they get mad? Like Jesus, go away. <laughs> but yeah, I think if that was did have been directed, like, can we get one more take? Yeah, a little less take. intense. A little less intense. I mean, you're not going to win an Emmy for an Oscar yeah, for this. You're not win. But yeah, I, I didn't. I, I but that's that was true. What happened? They took Mary Todd. Like, you need to go away. The men are here. Yeah. You need to go away. And you know, it's her husband dying, and there was no saving him in that puddle of blood. No. He was. He I go. Jesus, yeah. how, how much blood does he have left? <laughs> Just crazy. Anyway, there's a lot of different. Let's call it a day songs. Apparently, but there's a let's call it a day girl by the uh, what was it? Um, Razor's Edge, Razor's um, Edge, yeah, it was a 1966 song, and then later, all right, I gotta look, this yeah, up. yeah, um, it was also recorded by the four preps. But that's let's call it a day girl, so it doesn't, so yeah, know. here it is, Donny Osmond, go away, little girl. Go away, little girl. Oh, okay, no. never mind. So Speaking go of, away, little girl, Donny Osmond. Just, just music but here's in uh, Danny's. Let's see. Uh, Danny's. Away, little mouth. girls. Danny's family. Danny. What the hell is that? I don't oh, know who that is. Maybe that's the B side. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Speaking real of, quick before. Can you before hear? We, can you hear that? No. Should be playing a song anyway. We're gonna get charged and muted for it. All no, right. We can't hear it though. We can't hear anything. So. Just Google okay. it. I was wrong all these years. It's uh, go away, little girl. Go away, little girl. <laughs> go away, little girl. That, that's a better Oops. title. Or, yeah. Letter less Dan, creepy Dan than Snyder look never away. Said it, yeah. 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 Um, so you know, I, I used to always go to concerts constantly, and then COVID kind of killed that for a while. And the only shows I've seen. Aside from Roger Waters, I've just seen like little artists who you know, have like maybe one record or something. And just trying to, but all of a sudden this fall, this coming fall, like Denver is just exploding with a shit ton of good acts. And well, because their football team's going to suck. So well, yeah, but like I mean, but like you have Electric Light Orchestra, you have John Fogerty, you have are they, are they touring? Who? Yellow? Yeah. 
ELO. And they're saying it's their last tour, like ever. So, uh, I turned to stone. Yeah. But yeah. And, uh, Burton Cummings of the Guess Who, who never tours the U.S., he always just stays in Canada. Uh, they're all like in Denver, like the, like one week <laughs> after the other. Uh, the oh, thing oh, is, wow. though, is that I'm so used to ticket prices from 10 to 20 years ago that even the shitty seats now are mm-hmm. high dollar. And you're like, Blame what Taylor the Swift. fuck? Blame Taylor you know, Swift. And I dropped God knows how much money today buying concert tickets. And it just kind of irks me a little bit. That's but, not Taylor Swift's fault. That's Ticketmaster's fault. That's, that's it's, streaming it's been, service's fault. It's, it's, streaming it's, service. been, it's been like that for... Well, I, I know. I'm just joking. Well, but, I, you know, when you buy a ticket, it says $45, but when you tack on all the fees... It's the fees, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I bought two tickets, and $100 was just you the know, fucking fees. Eddie Money bought two tickets to Paradise. He did. We we should take two seconds and for commercials. Back. We should. So leave tonight. Fucking good. Um, okay. I really want to know what Chris thought of Better Call Saul. It's the one... <laughs> yeah. Fresh. John the retired guy, sorry, John the retired guy says go oh. see Brit Floyd. Yeah, they actually are coming. I actually We're going to Red Rocks actually. Like, yeah, I actually considered seeing Brit Floyd. Yeah, Red Rock. Uh, well, John, I got yellow too. Yeah. What's that? Well, John retired in the comments. John John retired guy bought yellow. Would you Would you well. let the man talk? I mean, no, Tim rolled eyes. Been on the yeah, show, Chris. Chris, Chris doesn't need to talk. He never talks. Uh, I asked him a question, but you're you're busy. Come on, let it. I want to know. Well, the world I, wants to know what I'll Chris thought a better call. He has. He said like he said like I'll twenty know. words on this entire podcast so far. If you were waiting on an airplane to take off and for Chris to say one word, we've only gotten thirty. Well, go. look, um, Chris doesn't call. speak. He lets his hands do the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna answer. Uh, John's Randy's question. question. He Randy's asked how, how the sound in Red Rocks. It actually is very good if you're sitting in the regular it's fucking speaker. awesome. If you get up to general admission, it does start to uh, wane. Uh, but if you're in the the season ticket holders seats, there it's excellent. And it doesn't matter where you're sitting. It's great. You have season tickets, but no, if you if you sit if you sit next if you sit next to Nick, you won't be able to hear Chris and what he says. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Chris, Chris is up there <laughs> singing, and then Nick's just interrupting him. So I, I've sat in both sections, and I, I can honestly say that um, uh, it's they're two different sounds, but the, they're both awesome. Like, right? Can so I, you're, can, you're, can, you're, you're I, I want to be more. Nick, I got to be Nick here for a second, uh, but you're stoned most of the time at the concerts, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> so how do we know that you know what you're talking about? Well, you're arguably probably more in tune to what it sounds like when you're stoned. All right, I'll go with that. That's true. Um, so you're get, you're definitely get much more of the reverb off of the uh, off of the the, uh, the the Red Rock Mountain, um, the right the stone, if you will, when you're the further back that you sit. Uh, John, retired guy. Yeah, don't sit next to Chris if you're old. Yep. <laughs> that old chestnut's still there. Chestnuts um, roasting. But uh, yeah, it's it's a different sound altogether, but it, it's a good sound either way. So I mean, I, I saw the same band. I've only seen one band play there. Actually, I've seen them play there three times, um, and yeah, it was uh, it was awesome. It was awesome no matter where I sat, like because the the environment of being there is another yeah. thing too. Because you know, like as opposed to was it, was the it, gorge, a, which I'm Dave going Matthews to, or was it or my morning jacket? My morning jacket. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, you know, right. as, as opposed to the I, gorge, which I'm going to go see Dave Matthews out in um, Washington State. It's an unbelievable environment, right? So you have this incredible backdrop and an incredible acoustics because you're in you're sitting in the on like on the edge of a of like a canyon essentially um but at nighttime once the sun goes down it's just any other outdoor concert venue you can't really see or experience or feel anything um because you can't see anything behind the stage whereas at red rocks um not only is the mountain around you illuminated and just looks beautiful uh, you can also still see the Denver city limits in the uh, in the in the background behind the stage, so aesthetically it's just an it's a beautiful venue. Um, it's acoustically an incredible venue. Um, if I if I had to compare the two, they're they're definitely my two favorite concert venues. Um, but once the sun goes down, the gorge is just any other place. Um, whereas um, 
Red Rocks is just incredible, yeah. you know, day or night. Because all the lights, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. What was your question, Matt? What did you think of Better Call Saul? I wanted. <laughs> I, wanted to... <laughs> I had forgot too. Mm. Uh, it. You yeah. guys had. You guys had prefaced me by saying it's a satisfying ending, and I agree. I, I do. I, I agree that I think it was a satisfying ending. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of direction they could have gone with it. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so but I, I thought they handled it really well. Um, Talk to the, can you speak? You're like echoing. Or... I'm, I'm echoing? I'm not echoing. Just you. because you have this mic, yeah, we can't hear yeah. you on that. No, we couldn't oh. hear you. That's what it was. Oh, sorry. Um, we weren't yeah, getting that great little, Chris voice. I just got a little too far away from this one microphone. I apologize. <laughs> Um, they had to they really kind of, you know, podcast. tie some loose ends with some of the characters and, and finish off some storylines. And I, I think two of the characters really got their their ending, right? Mm -hmm. um, right. Uh, those are, are the are the two of, of Saul slash Jimmy and Kim. Whereas I think you're you're kind of left hanging with some of the other storylines. Well, another guy got an ending too. Well, but I mean, a lot of them are. I mean, like with Mike. Yeah, their stories continue on into Breaking Bad. Right. Uh, not for one of them. Right. However, sure. this is also post Breaking Bad, right? There's so the, I think that you're getting just one. There's you know, two, three, three that I can think of, like throughout the like major ones. But so, anyway, sorry. Anyways, I mean, I, I think that the uh, I'm I'm pleased to see where everybody landed. I don't want to give it away just by telling. Sure. Nice. I don't want to tell the story or, or the ending of the plot for those for who might still be watching um, along or separately or maybe plan on watching. Um, but to your point, I think that they did a really nice job of, of being fair to the people in the storyline. And I felt good about the, what the result was. You know, you, you, you lose you start to lose a little bit of hope in one one or two different people. Mm -hmm. But then yeah. you see the redemption um, at the do end. You think, do you think or, that one... I don't want to mention the character's name, but do you think the one person story would have been different if the other person didn't show up at court? Oh. No, I don't think so. I, I think that was the plan all along. Um, however... I think, I think his motivations... Different. His motivations are made clear by yeah. what he does. Correct. Yeah, I'm saying, you know but I mean, course, like his... but I'm, I, I'm just what once they see that person, it's like, okay, how can I go forward and sure. throw this person under the bus? And because because this person does, with all his faults, their faults, has a heart deep down. Well, see, I see. I think. Uh... I, I I don't think it would change anything because I think that 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 final stand, if you will, that you know, the the last remaining dialogue um, of the of the character you're speaking of was was not just a um, clear her name or clear clear their name conversation, um, <laughs> where it's more of it was it was kind of like a an atonement for everything, right? Yeah, I think that character happened to be a part of the total picture. And you, there's, there's definitely like you know we have a, an emotional connection to that character, so it definitely right. felt a little bit more. But there is so much more to that that uh, that final stand than just that one other character. I mean, there was all the things that he has done in the past from from the get go, and and well, I think it also too, if, and all if, that. If he hadn't overheard what someone said on the plane, he probably doesn't make the same deal. Correct. And so he probably takes the better deal until he heard what was on the plane. And he's like, wait, what? You know, it's like, okay. Because he did such a great, they did such a great job of, you know, getting it down to what, six, seven years. Yeah. For mm. Everything they had yeah. done. I mean, right. it's like, that's what it, it did show what an amazing lawyer he could have been. Oh, oh, yeah. If he just no, would go the it been patient anytime, and gone the legal way, yeah. Any anytime you see Saul, uh, I think at his apex, you know, whenever you see that like part of him come out, you're just like, oh man, like this is this is his area, you know. It's like, and it, I just finished Breaking Bad, 
um, as of today. Oh, did you? Wow. I, yeah. So I, I was kind of binging through. Did you watch it on the plane? Um, uh, actually, I didn't watch it on the plane. with the head scene would be good for that. The right. <laughs> yeah, like show it to a kid. No, I mean, I had it on my, my phone, but no, I didn't. You like turtles? Um, so I think, you know, I enjoyed Better Call Saul so much in how I think it, the composure of it and the fact that it was still graphic, but it wasn't like kind of in the DNA. Whereas in Breaking Bad, I think from the get go, there's that intensity is is kind of right there the whole time. And you're kind of writing this this line of life or death constantly um, in, a, in a in a very like intense manner. And to to Nick's point, um, he he is like a broken clock and he is he is really <laughs> you're right about things okay just just take you're it t- you're saying i'm the broken clock Uh-oh. yeah yeah <laughs> but you were you were right about mike's character and the fact that we get so much more depth right. out of that character and so the the when he does enter into breaking bad and, and you get to the rest of his story you're just kind of like <gasps> now it, you know and, now knowing and, what we know knowing what we know yeah. now Mm-hmm. Do we hate Walter White more now when we see the Mike character, what happens in Breaking Bad? Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. It, because yeah. because, like, because we, yes. get such, we get such a great backstory in Better Call Saul. Yeah. That yeah. When, when, when he, when, what happens to Mike in Breaking Bad, I go, oh, I liked Mike, but it's okay. He's, yeah, it's know. okay. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it's, I, it's, it, but it then when you see break, harder. when you see Better Call Saul, you're like going, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I can't I was did that very, to that guy. Yeah, I was very torn when Mike because died. he had he had a strong he, he was a better person than Mike than uh, Walter White. Yeah, well, you, you see, like all these arguments, you know, and I can, I forget which show it is, but you know, like you know, Mike was screwed over twice by the government, taking his nest eggs mm-hmm. both times, and all he wants is just to provide for his fucking family, mm-hmm. and it's like. He's not Most, a bad guy. You know, he yeah. is a bad guy, but he's not a bad guy. You know. Anyway, um, yeah. So, I, yeah, I definitely hated it when when Mike died, but I, I hated it when pretty much all the characters. I didn't like um, it when um uh Walter White's brother-in-law died. You know. I didn't oh my like gosh, it. that that you was know, like that was this, you know that he, was harsh. He is who he is, you know, and mm-hmm. I, you can't fault him for that. And it I, just uh, it, it, it kind of tore you up when he died. If, when when you when watch Mike, the show. not was his no. brother name Mike? No, no. Oh, uh, um, Hank uh, Ritter. Hank. Hank. Yeah, Hank when Hank. Ritter. Yeah, when Hank. Died. So, so yeah. So big spoilers. Hank deep, down down was a, Hank deep down was a good guy. He so, was. Yeah. I, well, it's an interesting flip though in the show because you start off kind of like hating Hank. In many ways, well, he's and being and being sympathetic with 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 Walter, and by the end, you know you you've completely flipped, and because because Walter has broke bad. Well, and there's there's multiple times in which throughout the show that he he keeps doing these things, and there's there's moments in which they're all bad. There's some moments where you're like, oh, that's unforgivable, you know, um, and and you slowly Jesse, kind girlfriend. of. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Is the, like when, when the, the and, rape um, of his wife, yeah, uh, in the beginning of season two, I like that part. That, yeah, that part is just like you're just kind of like. I mean, that starts the season out, and you're just like, "Fuck this guy," you know. But by the time you get to season five, you were like, "He is the villain," and mid season five. So big spoilers, obviously, for for Breaking Bad because we're talking about that, but trying to not spoil it. <laughs> Better Call Saul. But most people have seen this show by this point. But when Hank does have that discovery, it is such a pivotal moment. I remember it being like they split the season into two and you had to wait forever. So I kind of rolled. I was able to kind of binge roll into the next one. And that first part of that season, when you get to to some of the the Jesse storyline, it's kind of it feels like it's wandering. But it just pulls together and and really does a nice finish for the show. And yeah, like since you asked me. Since you rewatched Breaking Bread, what are your opinions now on the fly episode? When you know, because you asked me that when I was mm-hmm. watching Breaking Bad at the time, and I said I loved it, and all of a sudden you get to this one episode, and you're like, "What the fuck?" You know, and and then you said well, you I, actually I, liked it. So. I I, lo- I like the I'm I like the fly also. Okay. 
I like I like all of the allusions to the like fly. Um, I also like all of the allusions that he puts for the fly throughout the show because I feel like it's also the writer being like, "Fuck y'all! Here's a fly to start this episode out. I'm gonna put the yeah. fly right in your." Well, I, I think face. it shows the mental makeup of Walter White, right? And also, he he kind of in that one episode, he kind of gets the most out there consciousness because he's about to reveal the whole thing of Jane, and knowing that he gets to this point where he could reveal this information, and then when he does, like finally later on in season five, it like you're just like fuck you, and what Jesse goes through because basically the whole time at the end there like the whole time with walter like jesse's hell oh my gosh yeah i the then, one yeah, are, you, are you gonna watch what was the uh the movie? el camino oh you're gonna watch el camino yeah too? yeah I'll, I'll finish finish yeah i've, never, I've never seen el camino really yeah i guess really? i should watch it yeah it, i mean it um the one I, I think i think walter white's probably one of the better characters in the history of television too because he's when it first starts out, here's this history, mm-hmm. but not a science teacher right. who's working at a car wash, making extra money, he's being treated like shit. The, the students treat him like shit. Mm-hmm. The customers treat him like shit. The boss of the car wash treats him like shit. Right. You got Hank, who's basically, you know, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. I'm better than right. you. And you can see, I mean, obviously, he takes it to the extreme. But how, how do you not root for a guy that has cancer who's just seems to be a stand-up guy but all of a sudden like you said in season two he rapes his wife he uh, he just he becomes an un, almost unlikable character yeah so sherry sherry asks in the chat um she says hey guys i stopped watching better call saul when saul was taking care of his recluse brother question i loved breaking bad is better call saul as good better or don't bother that's a great oh question gosh. Um, there, there are, were some times in which I was like, I think I might like Better Call Saul better um, than Breaking Bad, and yeah. I think overall, I do. I think it's a better show. Um, I think, I think it's good. I think it's a great show. At, it's like just an extended version of Breaking Bad. Yeah, I think yeah. it's. I think it's, it's. I think it's one great show. Yeah. It's, Again, I consider I, it like, one show. And we've I, said we've said this every week since we started talking about Better Call Saul. Nick is right. Watch Better Call Saul first, and then Breaking Bad, because there are characters in Breaking Bad that are in Better Call Saul, and you're like, are they going to die? And yeah. if you've seen Breaking Bad, you go, okay, I know they don't die, right? But I think if you didn't know that, it, it definitely plays with it, your your emotions on that level. Yeah. And yeah, um, and as I just recently did this. You know, at the as I get to the end of Better Call Saul, I want more, which is why I wanted yeah, to I'm, I'm, rewatch. I've, I've got that, like, that regret for finishing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I wait. I waited like a week before I watched oh. the last episode. And I'm like, God damn it! I want it. It became part of my day. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. I, I like I like look forward to watching them. All right, it's oh, almost like hold on, Sherry. Let's, let's not say Nick was right again. He's right a few times. Okay. He's right. Great, it's, great fucking show. I actually, I actually uh, had a coworker today who he's a very cheap person, and he walked up to me and he goes, "You work right. Cliff? Yeah, I know for real. No, uh, this, this yeah, guy. I, I, I actually like this guy a lot. Um, uh, <laughs> if he, you don't uh, like Cliff, I like no. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, wow, he, Freudian uh, slip there, bud. He he walked up to me and he was like, I actually "Hey, like this guy." He goes, I, "I really wanted to ask you this question. Dune Part Two. Should I go watch it?" And I was like, fuck, yeah, you should go watch it. And he goes, oh, really, that good? He's like, what would you give out of 10? I was like, like 9.5. And he's wow. like, well, what would you give a 10? I was like, I don't give anything a 10. You know, I was like, <laughs> yeah. what, kinda... what about the movie 10? Yeah, you, you, you said that you joke that already. Yeah. I know, but I'm just It's some new material. Recycled. <laughs> I'm old. I'm old. Watch Dune and under Dune Part 2 and understand why. And you could go in and watch Dune Part 2 without having seen Dune 1. That's and you would still week. enjoy it. You would still That's enjoy it. Week. 100 percent i got i'm at the rewatch dune you I'm don't re-watch. i'm gonna go with you don't even actually go watch dune it. part two and then rewatch dune it's that's how i did it yeah and it we never because, really answered but i'm gonna say Breaking because Bad when you get done with part two you want to see it again yeah because a lot of stuff becomes more clear so all right then, i'll i'll watch it 
good. Jeez, I, feel like, I don't like sand. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's coarse. <laughs> one, Are one you from last. San Diego for Christ's it, sake. It gets in the car. It's just pain in the ass. One, one last thing to respond to Sherry. Um, Better Call Saul felt like a poem, like a visual poem, in many ways, like with the way that it was directed and stuff, and and whereas like you know Breaking Bad is is more like, hmm, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. It's it was amazing. Breaking Bad was amazing. It was more like we're Breaking Bad is more kind of like rock and roll. It's just like it has that action kind of like yeah. aspect to it. Yeah. But with Better Call like Saul said, has a different tone to it, I guess is what I'm saying. Because it's like I said, like I said before, Saul has though, like four different tones. That, yeah. that's the thing I liked about it, right? Because it was yeah. it was, it was that's one a good series, way to say it. Yeah, but it had like four different like real like tones it, to it. Right? Yeah, what you saw and what you see in season one and a half, really. Um, is completely different than what you're going to get for the right. rest of the season. And there's like a there's like a middle stretch. And like to your point, like I remember Cher, I remember when, when I first saw the whole um, uh, taking taking care of Chuck situation. I was like, what? The mm -hmm. hell? This is weird. But then like once it kind of unfolds Shit. a little bit more, and you're just like, oh, okay, yeah, all right. I, I think I remember actually saying that on, on the show with you guys, like, what's this dude's allergy to electronics? Like, what's that up there? Yeah. Right, right. 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 <laughs> um, but but there is uh, there is a scene with him that kind of like hits you. You're like, whoa. Like, I mean, there's several moments with him, but the acting of Michael McKean is, is outstanding. Yeah. Like, so well, stick like, with I think we've talked about before. He came a long way from playing uh, Squiggy. Squiggy. Yeah. And Laverne Shirley. I mean, it, it, there, there's a. I mean, some people get typecast, yeah. but he was such he's a so, great actor. You know, his uh, Spinal yeah, Tap and everything else. I mean, I mean, you think about all the things he's done. It's his Spinal Tap and like everything yeah. he's played. You're like, shit. He's a very good actor, dude. Yeah. And there, there is one scene in uh, the last season, um, and it's a flashback in which we get this kind of see his character in the mix for like maybe three, four minutes, um, and there was a moment. You saw you you saw the glimmer you, of, of like the way he looks at his brother Jimmy in like adoration for like a mm, half yeah, of yeah. a second, yeah. because you never saw or heard him have any type of affection or like you know uh, or respect for his brother. Not not even with karaoke, but like having yeah. a respect for his brother. I was it was always it was always no no different episode okay. um this is actually in the um in the sixth season it's it, he's it's a flashback you, we, we haven't seen chuck for probably about 15 episodes at this point okay um and then all of a sudden he comes back in a flashback and it, it, mm -hmm. it back to when he was taking care of him um and there's this one moment where you see him look at jimmy and with with it with affection and like really like a real feeling of like brotherly love yeah, because you never saw that the entire fucking series. You only heard about what he, how he recounted his relationship with Jimmy when he was younger, and all this other, all this stuff. You never actually got to see an affectionate like like moment between mm -hmm. he and Jimmy. Jimmy to him, yes, you you saw that, but you never saw it in the reverse. Um, so for that one split second, I was like, well, oh, I th I, th I think that was with nice. the with the. He was yeah. jealous of Jimmy because, as great a lawyer oh, as he was, percent. Jimmy was smarter. And I think, he, I think, I think he was, knew it, Jimmy was just a genius and, and could, right? And could, and could stop on a dime and think, okay, we're going to do it this way. We're going to. Well, do it we this won't. Way. We won't spoil everything for Sherry about it, but you, you should definitely <laughs> jump into it. Suck it up. Watch or, it. Or the, uh, I think it does. He, I think, it does. But Better Call Saul, he, I said before, doesn't work without the Breaking Bad element. No, it does. No. Well, yeah, I mean, it definitely makes it. It wouldn't. It wouldn't better. be as popular without the, the without side stories. Bad, yeah. For sure. And, and I mean, yeah. I think of it as like a one A, one B. Like they're kind yeah. of like or two chapters of the same book, like a really good book. Like yeah. they're not chapters, but like volumes. Yeah. You know, it's like book one, book two. You know, kind of like book one. I think. I, I think with what's what's his brother's name? What's Jimmy's brother's name? Chuck. Chuck. Wait, Chuck. I think Chuck's issue. Not oh. there's a lot of reasons why Chuck despises jimmy and loves him but like because yeah, I, think, I, think, I think you're right jack and that he knew how smart he was but no matter how smart he was jimmy always took the easy way yeah, right yep. and i think that's why he resented him you know it's like you went to america fucking samoa law school you know like i right. need that shirt by the way i, I need to get, oh, you can get it cheap yeah, on Amazon. yeah yeah uh 
you know, like, and it's, it's like, you know, exactly like, because you know, Chuck, like, Chuck does things the right way. Right. Chuck does everything. Jimmy the right does way. things the wrong way. The wrong way. And, but it's and Sherry, to do that Sherry, you're going to enjoy the character, Kim. Like her character oh, yeah. is just, God, I love her. Go chapter she, chapter. she deserves an Emmy for that, that character, that role. So, um, okay. Apparently our audience is tired of better call. Saul talk, sure. So. We, yeah. we don't have to talk about All it. Right, we can move on. Actually, there's another topic out there. I want to talk about, um, okay. There was a, a big story in baseball. Oh yeah. Cheaters. Yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, we were gonna okay. Oh, Otani an hour has we don't have been, time for that. <laughs> caught up in this whole gambling thing and supposedly his interpreter oh yeah who makes three hundred thousand dollars i mean i was i was kind of shocked i go wait the interpreter makes three hundred thousand dollars a year holy shit i got i gotta start learning uh japanese because (laughs) you're like with all the games duolingo all of a sudden on your phone yeah i'm on lingo going speaking japanese because you know you make i I was like holy fuck how does an interpreter make and and the team pays for that it's not otani the team pays i i was like was anyone? I mean, I know there's more to the story, but was anyone shocked that the interpreter gets three hundred thousand dollars a year, gets to travel with the team, gets to see the games from the dugout, and he's getting three hundred thousand dollars a year? I'm like going, holy fuck! But anyway, but you, you, I, you you left out the, his entire career though. Like <laughs> he's like on call, like pretty much his entire yeah, life. Exactly. Like, but, but to be fair, he communicate on behalf of the of the guy. Mm. I get that. It still is three hundred thousand dollars a year. No, no joke. But I mean, it's that's your, a lot of money. But, but it's but, your life though too. You're kind of yeah. saying like, hey, but, I, his, at your but they were call. best fr- But they're best friends. Sweet. According game. to best friends. friends. Now, I don't know. if I had, now, if I had, I don't if know if they're best friends anymore. Well, no. But oh, what has happened <laughs> to go to the story? Because the story uh, one day was a certain thing. And the next day, the lawyers got together and said, all right, you need to fucking change your story. And the story <laughs> changed the second day. So I pers- well, I don't know where you guys stand on that. I mean, I like I'm Shohei Otani. I think he's great for the game of baseball, especially this. worldwide. But there's think, no there's no done. way the interpreter <laughs> racked up four point five million dollars in debt to a bookie. When you're only well, making three hundred thousand yeah, dollars a year, there's no way a bookie is going to allow that. And once Shohei Otani transferred money to the bookie, he should be suspended for at least a season. That's what I'm saying. I, I mean, Pete Rose yeah. is going fuck. Yeah, right. Yeah, like I, I just watched Pete Rose's induction into the WWE Hall of Fame the other day. For Christ's sake. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I like John the Trier guy says, yeah. And again, I'm not a Dodger fan, but mm-hmm. I'm a fan of Shohei Otani. And I, I I think he is good for the game, even though I hate the fucking Dodgers. But I, I there, there's no way. There's no, I think Shohei Otani was making the bets. I think this guy, I think they both were making bets. I think this guy is just yeah, falling on the sword. They probably oh, offered him, sure. they probably offered him money. Okay, you go to jail for 10 years, we'll give you. Yeah, we'll yeah, give you another three hundred thousand dollars for your no, life. No, they'll, they'll offer him millions of dollars. But oh, okay, millions of dollars. We'll see what him. happens. I mean, I think baseball is going to sweep it, try and sweep it under the rug because you don't want your baseball season twenty twenty four to start out with okay, Shohei Itani is a has a problem gambling. There's people are saying, well, he didn't bet on baseball. I go, it doesn't matter. He bet with an illegal system. Sure. He bet with a bookie. I go, that's you can put yourself in the position of being blackmailed, right? And having to, you know, okay, so you need to strike out four times this game because I have the, you know, I have the well, Padres see, this wing is by the one problem. run. People don't watch these 1940s movies where you see this. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm talking about. But it, know your could history that, that, could, that could be something that happens. So, mm. I mean, you look at back at, at uh, if you've ever watched uh, Eight Men Out, have you guys ever seen the movie Eight Men Out? Yeah. Is that like Black Sox Scandal? Black Sox Scandal. Oh, okay. Um, Buck Weaver, who didn't bet, didn't take any money, didn't meet with the the people, but he didn't tell what was going on. He was right. bet. He was oh he yeah. Was, he was uh for life kicked out of baseball for life because he didn't it say ran. what was going on. So there's no way Shohei Otani should get away with this with a slap on the wrist. It should be at least a season suspension. I know there's Dodger fans out there. You're crazy. I might be crazy, but this is, I mean, no, I know that, ev- I know that every, legit. every commercial is, no. is, is StubHub and, or not StubHub, but uh, DraftKings and everything else. It's all about gambling now in, in sports, but you can't do what he did. 
Even if even if he didn't make a bet, he should be suspended for a season. What say you? Huzzah. No, I, I I think we all were agreeing with you, Jack. Okay, all right, all right. I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't know. All right. So I got distracted. Shocker. Uh, while Jack oh, was talking. Okay, um, so he he would, wasn't agreeing with you, but go ahead. No, oh, I agree with him. Thanks, thanks, I agree Chris. with him four times. Uh, I, I looked behind and I saw the uh, I had my an old baseball card set, and I thought that perhaps it might be worth some money. I completely forgot that it was there. I got my 1991 yeah. score collector set. Nice. Who's the guy on the right? I, I think. I think, though, almost all cards from like 89 through 93 are worth nothing. Yeah, Yeah. this is worth $30, Mm -hmm. the entire set. Mm -hmm. It's because that was when, you know, the baby boomers, the old baby boomers, uh, were like our age now and had the money (laughs) to buy stuff from their childhood. And Mm -hmm. so the card market just exploded. Yeah. And they overpaid stuff. Well, I mean that you know I teach comic book history, and there's there's basically the the boom bust of comic books that kind of occurs in the basically uh, kind of like from like the the eighties and then up into um, like ninety three nineties yeah yeah and then then it starts to kind of taper down and then by like two thousand the like there's only well, that's why they. That's, that's why they killed. Go, right? That's why they killed Superman. It's because the comic book industry had gone to shit so much that they killed him. And Oil, it right? spiked again, and then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, it worked with killing Robin, so they did it again. Mm-hmm. So well, Robin, come on, he's kind of a dick, right? Well, he he comes back as Red Hood. It's um, no judgment, Kim. Not, not, you know, I'm just saying. That's I uh, I have the 1981 uh, edition of all the base uh, a Fleer. 1981. I bought it at a card show. I said, I'm going to save this. It'll be worth something someday. I mean, I've got some cards that are worth a lot. I've got Dan Marino's rookie cards. I've got uh, Emmett Smith and Barry Sanders rookie cards. I mean, I've got some that are worth something. I traded a I Johnny mean, Bench shit. rookie. I traded a Johnny Bench rookie card for a uh, for a Washington just, Pod. What? We just lost Chris. He's, oh. he's For a oh. Washington Padres baseball card. Um, because that was supposed to be worth a lot of money, and no, the Johnny Bench rookie card is worth a lot more than the Washington Padres because there are no Washington Padres. That's the thing, but it, you think it'd be worth more, but no. I got some Ken Griffey Jr. rookies in here. Ooh, that's got to be worth. I something. got one of his too. I think I got some Mo Vaughn rookies in here. Mo Vaughn. Move on, sweet. I think that's what the audience is saying to us. Move on. What, what what are you not entertained? Bo Jackson rookie card. Bo Jackson. He Who don't know shit. <laughs> Bo knows hockey. Jim no. Abbott rookie. <laughs> yeah. Bo, you don't know Diddley. Wow, I actually have some pretty good fucking cards. <laughs> I bet that that Bo Jackson David Justice actually. rookie card. David Justice, who was married to Liberty Halle Berry. Vanessa Lynn. Halle Berry, yes. yes. Halle Berry, Halle Berry yes. Lady Did you say he, Nick was right on that one? Nick was right on that one. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh. Well, I knew Jeez. the answer ahead. It just goes so. just goes to his head, you know. Well, let's. Now, that was a that was actually a miserable marriage. I know for yes. Halle Berry, they did not get along. No. Oh, Willie Randolph, rookie card. Yeah, no, nice. Willie Randolph. I've got a Cassius Clay Olympic card. Whoa, uh, I don't know if it's worth anything. You've heard that story where he was fighting some guy and the guy kept calling him Cassius Clay instead of Muhammad right. Ali, yeah. and he'd just beat the shit out of beat this guy, him, yeah. and then he'd stop. Yeah. What's my name? Cassius Clay. And then he, the next round, he came out and beat his ass again. He goes, what's my name? Cassius Clay. And he kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it, and finally he just said, what's my name? He goes, Muhammad Ali. Then he just knocked him out. Right. Your mama <laughs> wow. called you Clay, I'm going to call you Clay. Yeah. <laughs> I figured who it was. It wasn't Sonny Liston, I don't think. No, I don't know who that is. is. No name. Norm guy. Cash? That, Norm Cash, you know who Norm Cash played for the Tigers, right? This card is old as fuck. Tigers? Tigers be tigering. Thanks, Chris, for answering the question. Sorry, I'm just looking at the Is it Tigers? He's getting yeah, uh, yeah. I might I might be rich. <laughs> Norm Cash. Is. He was a solid player. Just depends on the quality of the card, man. It's not that great. <laughs> 
Yeah. Sherry says, when Chris got up, uh, I thought it was gummy time. Oh, that already happened a while ago. Yeah. Um, got a pregame. I think I have some of that baseball card gum from the 70s in my stomach. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. that stuff was brutal, but I ate it. That's good it. stuff for like four I seconds. Think I think I probably left a million dollars on my uh, using the cards as a you put it in your, your uh, put it on Bicycle. the bicycle and the, on the tires. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably I probably a Hank Aaron rookie card on there or something like that. Going, yeah, it was smart. Going Honest back to uh, going back to shows, uh, Jack. Did you did you finish Masters of the Air? Masters, of the, I did finish it. Yes, I did. Masters of the Air. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I mean, I I, I still think Masters it's. I still I think I put it second. I mean, Band of Brothers number one. Oh, Band of Brothers. You're not going to yeah. top Band. You're going to top Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers still number one. Then probably Masters of the Air. Then the Pacific. Oh. I like um, the part. I like the part in the final episode where one of the pilots, he gets shot down. He gets rescued by the Russians. I don't want to spoil mm-hmm. anyone. Mm-hmm. And he goes to a concentration camp. Mm-hmm. And then him and uh, one of the the, na- the head navigator who plays John Wilk Booth mm-hmm. in uh, Manhunt says, he's like, ah, I kind of feel bad. He goes, he goes, no, they got what they deserved. Talking about the the German people because they right. let that they knew, yeah. and they they let it happen because you know they didn't care. And I said that was a powerful scene because you know you're sitting there going, oh, "We're bombing these guys day and night, boom, 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 boom," but you forget how evil the Nazis were. And I said, "No, it's a great. I I agree with them. They got what they deserved." Yeah, you know, one thing it's it's a it's a technical detail, but it's something that irked me just a little bit. Uh, is that you know in the beginning of the series they're flying B seventeen A's and B's, uh, and they have the green paint on them, which is accurate. And then by that last episode, they should have been fully flying B seventeen D's and E's that have uh, I know neither one of the guys on the show know what these are, but like. The differences in the guns and the planes are different, and they're still flying like the the early war bombers. I'm like, it's not right. But that just irked me a little bit. That's We've lost me. everybody. I know. I mean, I, I, you, both of you guys were looking down. You had no idea that Jack got up. I, I was, was talking I was, to myself. I was yeah. finishing my drawing. Sorry. <laughs> I was. It started off by me uh, Where looking Jack at the, gets up. Like I either his at the bladder's sp- completely full or. Yep, I was looking at the. the, the <laughs> <laughs> How do you get up? Uh, well, I'm gonna leave now. Thank God. We've been hitting the whole time to, for for Matt to leave, but yeah, I I enjoyed the series. I thought it was good. Uh, only problem is, like I said, Band of Brother. What makes Band of Brothers so good? Yeah. Is you know the characters. You you care about the characters, and this one you you care about them. But you have you watched the? Uh, yes. Have you watched the? I was, uh, was going to ask you the same thing. Yeah, Cindy and I got to we need, got like twenty minutes ago on it. She was getting tired, and so we. The thing is funny is is that you could watch that the documentary, and not even watch the show because it it, it covers all the ground of the show. Right, <laughs> like, exactly. <"All> right. <laughs> and I think there's more CGI in. No, in, thanks, obviously. Jim. Yeah. I'll bring that up. Go oh, ahead. have you started to watch Shogun? Shogun's awesome. It's on my list, but I was kind it's of on my on list. A, I was yeah. on my. I was like, I'm finishing this rewatch. So I, what I what I like what I like so far about Shogun is it seems to be it's, it's 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 I have not read the book, but it's dead on with the book, and there's only going to be this season. That's it. The guy who produced it and all that said no. It's like we're not going to go and try to milk this thing. We've stuck to the book, and the show ends when the book ends, and that's all you're getting. Which I'm glad oh. television is doing nice. that more. Yeah, than, yeah, because because instead of dragging it out and. Uh, the, the first three episodes, I like that it, it, it follows arcs very well, the show so far, and that the first three episodes are kind of introductory episodes of there. you have this fish-out-of-water uh, English sail, sailor who you know lands in Japan, and he doesn't, he doesn't know what the hell's going on. He doesn't understand anything, and these... The, and so we've just finished episode five and four and five is where you see him really learning and becoming Japanese to an extent and gaining some respect. But then at the end in this fifth episode, there was a song about that. Well, in this fifth episode, there is something happens that is just 
like holy shit you know it's it's a two cultural differences that like from a western point of view it makes absolutely no fucking sense but to japanese it's completely normal <coughs> and it's like and, and so like i'm really enjoying shogun it's a good show <coughs> Yeah, uh, it, you know, it's taken all place in 1600, roughly. You know, so it's 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 good. I I do recommend it. the um. The, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give it a sh- it's what's it, it's on uh, Hulu. 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 Yeah. Hulu. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and you'll recognize the main Japanese girl. She was the Japanese girl in um, uh, Monarch. Uh, oh, okay. And uh, of course, you know the main samurai, the Lord, is uh, the guy that was in Last Samurai, and he was also in um, a couple other stuff too. But he's you know good, good, very good actor. All right, you convinced me. Should I watch that first or Breaking Bad? I mean, I always lean towards new stuff, stuff you haven't seen. But, I mean, you're not going to lose right. either way. Well, it, will <laughs> yes. it ruin Breaking Bad for me not to watch to watch Shogun first? That's what I'm trying to say. No, it won't It won't ruin you um, to watch Shogun. when Walter White gets in that sword fight <laughs> with the samurai, and I'm not I will say okay. that I, I will say that going from um, the one to the next – like when I started watching it, I was like, oh, this almost feels sophomoric to what I just watched because the mastery, like I feel like the, the kind of the mastery of the storytelling overall, like had just grown. So it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah, anyway, watch Kung Fu first. Um, but yeah, no, it's, um, <coughs> I think I'm honest, I, there's been other stuff that I've watched too. Um, can't, can't re- recall all of the, cause I, I definitely, watched some oh uh, curb your enthusiasm that was the other yeah i gotta watch kind of Kirby. this is the final season so, right mm-hmm. yeah and they keep making jokes about um larry david writing the final episode of seinfeld really yeah so i think that's that's kind of like a like the build for this yeah season, i think i think heard rumors about about, the, the rumor is i think that it's gonna be that, that, that was my theory yeah there's they're 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 definitely they're definitely doing something with that. Well, because so Jerry, I mean, I've talked about it before. Jerry uh, Seinfeld said something about in a concert, mm-hmm. right? It, so, um, basically, it should be Larry Davis saying "fuck you." You didn't like the ending. Well, it is it is kind of funny because people will confront him about it, and he, so it's well, anyway. So there's something about Larry David. I maybe men- mentioned this in the chat earlier but he's like a he's like a spirit animal it's kind of like both good and bad like there's things that you're like you cringe at but then there's other things that you're like well yeah, it's cringe but a lot of times so... he's a lot of times he's right that's why he's i said mm-hmm. yeah. you said right. larry was put his jacket over the back of the the seat you're like going okay that's that's something sometimes, larry david sometimes, sometimes he goes overboard with, yeah. with things so i still like the time he's sitting he's sitting at a, a having dinner by himself and the guy across from us is talking on his cell phone so he starts he starts talking on his just talking yeah he goes, what are you doing he goes i'm having a conversation <laughs> <laughs> i remember that one and then he gets an <laughs> argument with the guy so um no but it's been it's been good um well, and then ghosts good. i also caught up on on ghosts ghosts, ghosts is, this a... might be the fun i hope they i gotta be honest with you though i hope they kill off I hope this one ghost gets sucked up because it's kind of it's kind of stalled the show. Mm, okay, if, if you know, what I mean, it's not yeah. working. It's not working. Right. It worked at first, but not for you know a permanent ghost. Right. This right. person needs to be sucked off. <laughs> well, that's a, right? it's a term. It's a term that they use on the show, Chris. Yeah, is that people when they when they ghost when they disappear, they get sucked. They off. get sucked off. That's awesome. Yeah. Because, yeah, so yes, there's a lot yes, of yes, like, Sherry, really, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's I th- awesome. I think, I think there's some, some, some things that you'd, you'd really enjoy about this. But it's, this it's show, been, so. it's been really funny this season. I thought it's, it's, it's if you haven't I'm, seen Ghosts, it's, it's on Paramount Plus. Um, it's, if you have that or get that or, you know, file it away, like, oh, when I get that, you know, I should binge watch that. But definitely a sitcom worth, <laughs> worth binging. So, yeah, it's 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 a fun watch. It's a it's a good show. The, yes, and Matt Triest and the says and when they go go to hell they say go down on us. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, it's uh 
but, um, but there's a lot of variety in the show so it's not it's not yeah there's, there's different things with the there's ghost different and, humor and different people yeah. and you kind of get a little a little bit of everything so yeah nice. it, it's 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 I said this might be the best season they've had so far. This season. I, I I agree with Sherry too. The British version of Ghosts is really really good, and it was it was kind of hard for me because I I think I watched that one first and then went to the U.S. and I was just like, what are you doing to my characters? And so they are kind of two different I think you know, <laughs> feels. But I did watch the first just, season of, of just like UK, how the it is funny. So. Uh, Miami Mike says you can't avoid the ghost commercials during the uh -oh. season or Survivor. That is true, yes. Uh, but again, I, I, if you haven't seen it, it's 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 not sla it's not hit you over the head comedy. Mm. It's uh, you just have to kind of pay attention to what's going on, and it's it's a good it's a really good show. I enjoy it. Yeah, I, I look forward to it. Nice, ghosts, ghosts. I'll have to put that on the list. I I really want to watch Shogun now. I've oh yeah, no, Shogun for sure. That's my that's going to be my next, but. But knowing that that uh, I have to read, you know. I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of it's in English, uh, and then the other half's in Japanese. But you know, Monarch is kind of like that too. Yeah, exactly. um, you know, it has a little bit of both, and and I do enjoy that. So, it's... well, Narcos was that way, and you do eventually forget mm -hmm. that you're reading. Yeah, if that makes sense, because you're just, you know, yeah, you're, you're just constantly, you know, because half of it's in in Spanish, so. If you haven't seen Narcos, that's that's a uh, talk about violent. Mm. I think I saw the that, first season of that. That's a good show to watch. I don't have BritBox. Uh, Kim asked Sherry if she had. We, Cindy had BritBox at first. But mm. She she didn't do it. I think I think Ghost UK currently is also on on Paramount Plus too. So if you if you ever want to check out that, she is she is pregnant in real life, Sherry. So yes, that's why. That makes sense. She's she's always wearing a sweater and she's carrying like, a laptop. And, carrying a laptop, yeah. or but you know, you get a you get a show like that <laughs> popular. You know, you're gonna be have a. I mean, why not? Yeah, so. you, it's the typical. You you know, you gotta hide the pregnancy mm -hmm. because you don't want to have a baby on the show because it just ruin it. It'll ruin the show. Right? Am I right? Yeah, I, I don't know how they would do that. So yeah. unless the baby could see ghost. Right. For sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, I know the other two members are like, we don't know the show. Fuck you guys. Well, well, anything, you we gotta work so. picks, it, 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 does anyone have anything else? Because we could wrap it up at this point. Wait, I saw that I saw that you guys did a versus without me. Oh, I need to tell you that. No, we didn't. No, no, um, we didn't. We, you know, I, I asked the guys. Oh, that you were okay. missing, like, what should we do? You know, because we, we had the results of the last, of the lead singer. And I said, okay, right. we can go ahead and say, let's just combine the four and say, all right, let's put someone, let's them, let them pick who has the best overall band. Right, right. That's what I was meaning. Yeah, like you guys. We, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't debate it. We, knew, we just kind of let oh, the okay. audience decide. We all, we all agreed. I mean, you can decide. You can throw your vote in, even though it's already 3 nothing. What would you... I wanted to know, though, and maybe we can do that, too, as we tally up here. What would you call your band? Did you think of a band name for your band? No, I didn't think about that. That's, that's oh. hard. The glow-in-the-dark farts. Yes, Matt, Trees. <laughs> I, I did read that. So cause I had to look up why that one ghost was not there. Oh, I had to look okay. it up. Yeah, there is a bit of a like, and and perhaps that will. Hmm, okay, that makes sense. Um, we did. should. Well, well, well. I guess we'll see. Well, well, well. That would have been a good good singer to use as John Lennon. So, I I had thought about calling my my band um, the Royals because I I was thinking like you got the Thin White Duke, you mm -hmm. got Prince. You got Sir Paul McCartney and Keith Moon. Well, I don't know, but uh, that was what I was thinking of. And then I also thought uh, I'd heard of this band uh, called the Go Betweens. It's a pretty cool Australian band, and I like that that name too. Although that call mine the best, band. the best. I the best of the eighties. I'm gonna call mine the the Fat Bonham Girls. The Fat Bonham Girls. I like that. <laughs> Nice. Chris, you're sticking with yours. Glow in the dark farts. Okay, I like it. Glow in the dark farts. Mm -hmm. I, I, Sounds like a I '90s like band. Um. All right, so 
the results. Oh, you want me to read them or do you have them, Matt? I I, I checked. I just looked and was I like, mean, oh, you, so, you guys. Uh, all right. Well, I'll just, I know that for lead singer, I know that uh, uh, Freddie Mercury won by a landslide. Uh, and for the bands overall, oh, Matt won by a landslide. Uh, and then Jack came in second and then. Chris and I were neck and neck for a while. Oh, you put, you put you put the poll up there for the best bands, best overall band. Like you know. Oh, so I, I didn't know you did like, that already. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that. that's so what like I was... you know, it was like so I said you know like uh, Matt for example was uh, David. You know, it said like lead singer David Bowie, right. you know, guitarist Prince. You know, and it's like who has the overall best band? And Matt won by a landslide, and then the Jack came in second, and then I came in third. I think beating Chris by like one, maybe two votes. So I won the first week with drummer, and then from there mm-hmm. on, I was just second, 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 second. That's not true. Well, I was second. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie, uh, Eddie Van Halen, Steve Perry, and bass player. I can't remember. Because yep. uh, uh, Matt, the- Matt won twice. Matt won with a uh, bass player and guitarist. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I, I won, won with drummer with, Neil. Peart. I won with lead singer and I came in second with the drums. I came in. I came in second twice and won once. And it's like I don't know. I Freddie Mercury once. didn't get a majority of the vote though. He only got forty six percent. I'm now looking uh, at the poll. So yeah, I'm, Steve I'm Perry call, kind of. Steve Perry kind of did out. did he win? Did he win the popular vote? It's hard to say. <laughs> he didn't. There's going to be a, there needs to be a runoff. He won the electoral college. Okay, so my, I really got forty six percent. How could so my win? band came in second? Is what you're saying? Yeah, your yeah, band you came, came in second. In second. Mm. I would love to see my band in concert, just to say. I I think you have a good band, you know. So I was I was happy with my band. I could have picked any singer. It would have been hard. I would have picked Freddie. Of I course. can't remember who my bass that would have been because that would have gone with my theme of royals with a queen and a prince. But you know. The more I think about my band's name now, the more I like it because Bonham was fat towards the end. So he is the fat Bonham girls. So it's like, <laughs> I just like it now. The more I think about what I chose. You're muted, Chris. I think he's about to puke. No, okay. No, I said, but the glow in the dark farts is like, the concept is amazing. That's so <laughs> like, could That's you so imagine people's farts glue in the dark? That'd be amazing. Is well, what if what is if there was a the drum? Sense of the glow. gummies kicked in, man. What, oh, yeah. what if there was a, a, a like a thing how that can, you could hand how out? How can the door and, be a jar? Yeah. Ha! So, what is the past tense of glow? Glued. Is it gl- glowed? Glowed. Glue. Glowing. Emanated. Glow. No. Gl- past tense of glow. You're welcome. It glue. You're welcome. Did that we thing glue the answer. That thing was glowing. Was glowing. Was glowed. I did have a question for you, contract goers. Deep thoughts. Yes. Cindy was watching the uh, uh, Taylor Swift con- Taylor Swift concert that's on. Uh, oh yeah, Disney, Disney Plus. Disney Plus, and I noticed that everyone in the crowd has like the same lights. Is it, is it or oh. an app? Are they give? Are they no, passing yeah, out? So or is there an I, app I on the to, phone that they that they're no, all? They, they give you wristbands. So I went to a Coldplay concert, and um, everybody going into the concert gets like a like a wristband for the head. It's like an LED band, and they're synchronized. So there's okay. actually the the sound system synchronizes the LED bands. And you're supposed to turn them in after the concerts. So they can wash and reuse them, but everyone takes them home, and then they die after keep- a few days. I'm gonna so, keep mine, but they are they're like they're like they're like near field communication devices essentially. So okay, because I figured it had to be something thing. like that. I go, I go. There's yeah. no way everybody brought the same light. It's pretty cool. I go, they're they're white, they're blue, they're red, and Cindy's like, that's what you're getting away from this concert. I go, well, I'm not listening to music. I'm just watching the people in the crowd. I go, yeah. I go. There has to be something that they you know pass but out. Really, they... I, I I don't get Taylor Swift. I don't I don't get the appeal. I got look at what. The appeal of what? Cindy's, Cindy's Swift. a Swifty now. Oh, I think I, she's amazing. Really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, that's just that's really like I, I I don't understand. Like I I'm I'm happy for. Her. I'm happy that she's accomplished. I'm glad that she's lasted in the industry as long as she had. I'm not taking away from anything of Taylor Swift, 
but it's just one of those things where I listen to some of the lyrics and I'm just like, okay, you know, it's not poetry to me. And it's everything's usually in a four, four beat. And I just, I don't, I don't Thanks, get, I, I don't, I don't, what? Well, I, I was going to tell you this after the, after the episode, but Taylor Swift was going to sponsor us. Cheers response. And now oh, okay. she, after what you said, I'm sure she's not going to sponsor us anymore, Nick. She was going to uh, give us like millions. And be this. It was going to be like Taylor Swift RCAD. So oh, Taylor just Swift that. Just blew that. Yeah. yeah, you just blew it, Nick. I mean, there's, Sorry, it's not. I mean, it's not. There's lots of artists though. Like I've never got the appeal to. But like it's just like I, I don't. I don't get it. I just don't. You know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm old. I'm I, I could. I could see why young young girls would like it and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I get that. Yeah. I don't know. But again, Cindy's still doing the. Uh, when she listens to the Kelsey podcast, what's, what's it called? She yeah, talk, like, about. she talks like I know it. I go the what? I go just say the Kelsey podcast. I go. I'm not going to remember that their name of their podcast. I just I'm just not. The Kelsey. Well, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot about football and oh. stuff like that. Yeah, they kind of go together now. So I will well, say though, like the the goal. impact. Honestly, God though, the impact that she's had on. More than just music, I was. I mean, I I was watching someone posted a clip. It was an NHL game. I don't know who. I don't even know who was fucking playing. And they put up one of her songs, like on the jumbotron, and played it, and like they put the lyrics up on the screen. And the guy who was recording is like, he goes, "I don't even." I she goes, "I can't even hate this. This is just absolutely fucking amazing." Where every you could hear, you could literally hear every female voice in the entire arena, like belting out this Taylor Swift song. And it was like in between <laughs> periods or whatever. Um, she has an is, incredible reach. Is that the song, Miami Mike? New Heights is that? What New Heights saying? is the podcast. No oh, okay. okay. Uh, but it, it's she has had such an incredible like impact on on shit. Like like my daughter watches football now because of her Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, I well, mean Cindy's, that's Cindy's into it because she's she has a crush on uh, Travis Kelsey, which is fine. I don't care. But I mean, then, Jason's uh, Jason's is 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 where it's at. If you're gonna Jason, ask me. Eh, he's he's more of a bruiser type guy. He's a man, I love that. Travis dude. Kelsey's a pretty boy. Let's face it. Yeah, no, he's got Taylor Swift. Although I think I think Kylie, um, Jason Kelsey's wife, is Chef's kiss. <laughs> chef's um, kiss. <laughs> We just but, speak uh, emojis on this. Yeah, this no, I, I'll tell you though. Like, I mean, like, like Emma, my daughter, has like an interest in this shit now, mm-hmm. which is kind of cool. And like, I, I think the positive impact that that her music and her presence has had has been pretty fucking incredible. I'm kind of like right down the middle. I have no. And she owns it all, no dude. She she's a goddamn understand. business mogul. I'm yeah, not like she, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. like you a, can't fault her there for sure. Yeah, like, yeah. but I'm also not kind of like. I mean, because it, it's a baller music. fucking move to her to go like, you know what? I'm just gonna remake these first five or four right. albums or whatever. Yeah, that was genius, yeah. dude. She's smart, very very smart, and she got smart people around her taking mm-hmm. care of her, and yeah, she's. The best in the business for sure. Well, um, I'm looking for a message I had with that uh, with Taylor Swift. No, Taylor, she, she breaking news. Well, she blocked me because uh, oh, breaking Dale. Because I, you know, Dale, Dale is always one of those people who always talks to you like you know somebody, and I, mm. I haven't seen Dale in person in in probably a couple years. It's been that long. So we're trying to get a poker. Jay's doing a poker game because of his birthday and stuff like that. And he goes, I haven't heard back from Dell yet. So I sent Dell a note saying, Hey, uh, did you get that message from um, Jay about the poker? He said, uh, I can't find it. I can't find the message. But he, he says, he goes, uh, yeah, I, I, I already sent him back a message. I can't make it because aunt Barb from Pennsylvania is coming in town. I'm like going, who the fuck is Aunt Barb? I don't know who Aunt Barb is from Pennsylvania. So I said, okay. Uh, I said, okay. Uh, give Aunt Barb. Uh, uh, tell Aunt Barb, hey, for me. He goes, okay, I will. <laughs> I don't. I still don't know who Aunt Barb is. <laughs> I, I just. I don't. I don't know who Aunt Barb is. But that's Dell. He just. Uh, he would always do that. You know. I go. No, I don't know. And then he'd keep talking like you do him. And I was like, I don't know who that is. 
Does Dale still have a ball pit? I don't think he does. I don't think he does. I think he was banned from McDonald's a long time ago. So went to go. Just just the one or the whole the whole franchise? The whole, the whole franchise, franchise because you know. <laughs> Aunt Barb on Barb. Call Saul. Uh, she might be. I don't know. She's from Pennsylvania. I can tell you that. But I, but I, I don't think he got my sarcasm when I said uh size so is being a dick back. <laughs> Anyway, uh, one classic, thing I, I, oh, classic dick classic, move. Yeah. yeah, it was. Uh, I was just looking at things to watch. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer or heard about this movie. Um, it's you know it's a twenty four, which they usually make fucking awesome everything. Right Civil now. War. Civil War. Yes. Oh my god, that it's looks fucking so awesome. Fucking good. Uh, all the reviews of it so far are excellent, and so I'm really. really oh, I haven't I, checked into it. Yeah, it's like the end, it didn't come out to the end of April. Uh, is it is it a uh, superhero show? No. no, it's it's a it's a fictitious alternate reality alternate reality movie. Uh, Kirsten Dunst and some other several actors, and it's like a it's like the the United States breaks into three or four different sections, and so like you know you have Texas being its own thing, and like <laughs> uh, it's not That's like it's not traditional like today's current political. It's like. Mm-hmm. It's like California and Florida, or uh, it's like the states that would never be partners or partners. So it's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, but it's uh, it's but like, it's very what, representative. Of this what this is a movie. <laughs> it's a movie coming out at the end of April called. Well, Civil this, War. this sounds pretty good. Yeah, and I, I it's looking pretty good. Okay, I hadn't heard about that, but I'll look out for. Yeah, the and it, uh, I, I and I'm cautious now to see Ghostbusters because it's gotten really bad reviews. But has it? Uh, Jay already, like Jay it's going to get bad reviews, though. I mean, it's it's not made. Jay for already saw it. He went to the premiere. Jay, I, I don't expect Jay. To, Jay's going to love it no matter what. Yeah, yeah. You can't trust his review. You can't trust he still likes Ghostbuster too. I mean, I like, I like Ghostbuster. Ghostbuster. I like it Ghostbuster. sucks. It sucks. You're voted nah. off the island. Get out of here. I'm we don't want you, you Ghostbusters. It. it doesn't have any moments. It sucks. You know, you know what it is. You know why you are the way you are, Jack. You Cause, cause lost your proof? kitten. Okay, and you know, you My just kitten. need some kitten love. Kitten love. Mm-hmm. See, apparently, a person that likes Ghostbusters too gets that joke. Yeah, I, I, I it, the movies suck. You're drinking fire. Uh, I remember being terrified. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, of that, like the pink slime coming out of the bathtub. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the pink slime. Yeah, that was scary. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, the first one's scary too, though. It's librarian, scary. I remember the librarian, librarian turning around. I yeah. was in the movie theater for that, and that's the first time I nearly pissed myself scary. in public. Well, they make the Statue of Liberty walk. That's okay, scary. it's cool. I don't think they yeah. made Nikes in her, in her size. Right. It would have cracked. Uh, it would have fallen apart. There's okay, no way it could have walked. There's no way. Whatever. Just... She's a harbor chick. <laughs> <laughs> also. What what is the logic of the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? How does he exist as a being? It doesn't fuck because matter. because what's his name Ray? So I, I thought of the thing there. that was the, the the least the least uh, harmful thing I could think of, and he he thought about the brand of Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Mm-hmm. It's that's the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Yeah, Matt K says it sucks. So it's, who's this it's, Matt K? There's, there's Imposter Matt is what I say. It just, I mean, Jay gets all upset, but I go, they should have stopped at one. Oh, I mean, Matt, is it, is Matt it saw the better one? than one? No, but it's up to for debate, you know? To me, sure. Ghostbusters 2 is like, you know, Raiders of the Lost Ark is clearly the best one, but I also love Last Crusade. I think it's lighthearted and fun, and that's yeah, what I think of Ghostbusters Okay, too. yeah, but Ghostbuster yeah. 2 sucks. It, I mean, it's just terrible. I mean, I, it's terrible, terrible. I, yeah. I just did. I don't like it. I it, be honest with you, this I haven't is, seen it in years because I refuse to watch it. This is game. this this is why. This is it's moments like this that I miss being the producer because I could just <laughs> mute you, mute. <laughs> and take over the show. Like that, like that, Matt. No, oh. I have the power. You can be the producer anytime you want. Now, would we get these cool thumbnails? I don't know. I don't know. Good versus worst, worst sequel. sequel. Ooh. Oh, that, that's probably pretty easy when you think about it. Like Godfather, God, Godfather, Godfather two. No, what the fuck? No. Worst sequels. Yeah, Godfather two. You got your fucking mind. Godfather, <laughs> Godfather two. 
fucking with you guys. <laughs> Godfather three is one the... of the worst movies ever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Godfather three. Yeah. But like worst sequels. I mean, it's got to go to Highlander. Like, I mean, there's there's definitely like a, like a good few movies. It's like you know, not that Highlander was great, but Highlander two is just like shit. I don't think sick. I ever saw Highlander two. It's, so it's garbage. It's absolute garbage. Um. Duncan. Porky the next day wasn't as good as the, the original. Caddyshack that's two. that's the the choices that people yeah. have. Caddyshack, Caddyshack two is absolutely garbage. Yeah. It's garbage. Trash. You know, it lives fondly in my mind. So fuck you. So well, you, it can live fondly in your mind, but it sucks. It's trash. Breaking two. The electric well, breaking. boogaloo. Breaking one wasn't that good either. So, so. breaking one was a fucking true, masterpiece, yeah. Jack. Matrix Reloaded. Next, you're gonna say Gremlins two wasn't as good as the first one. It's I mean, different genre. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Gremlins two it still has Phoebe Cates, right? No. Yeah. No, it doesn't. No? There's not. I'm thinking of. Yeah. Uh, oh, then it does. It does have her in it. Yeah. yeah she's, she's working at an office. She's working at the office. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. It's yeah. like okay. Then you can't go wrong with something this Phoebe Cates. Yeah. The thing is, is I that, love the you know, campiness of it. It, it yeah. has. It's a comedy. It's it's mm -hmm. not. It's I haven't not seen all the different movies themes and Gremlins. It's not I a haven't horror. seen Gremlins yeah. in like forty years. Yeah. Probably long forty years. That's one of those things I debated not too long ago. With somebody was uh, you know when people say you know Die Hard is a Christmas movie, and so is fucking Gremlins. You know, like huh. Gremlins a Christmas movie. But um, Die Hard, but Die Hard's true. a better movie. Die Hard's a better movie. It is a mm. better movie. But... Uh, you know, I, 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 is is the RCAD a sequel to Married Man? Can we be the on the versus? Well, <laughs> we we we, we well. Uh, let's was, be fair. The RCAD were... is 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 second Older. to the Married Man show. Okay. If I'm being honest, I'm but being... I think we've got like three times as many episodes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um. Maybe that doesn't make it better though. No, it makes it desperate. <laughs> I did enjoy those the original Ramble cast, all the music Jay brought along. The fact, come on, everybody, the fact. welcome to the Ramble cast. Jay good, and good Jack friends, and Jay and Jack. Jack. Blah, 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 blah. When Chris sings it half sleepy, that's when I know the show's energized. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no, no, Gremlins no. 2 is 1990, so 34 years. Okay. Damn. I was close. I was, I knew I it was, I knew, close. That was That's another one of those things where it was too long for the sequel to come. You know, it should have you know, yeah, for waited sure. too long. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like Godfather um, 3. You waited way too long and you picked long. the wrong I mean, actress to play a main role. Yeah, who it's, She's it's, a great director, but other, she can't act. Sorry. One other sequel. It's not a sequel, Papa? but it's a sequel show. I started watching uh, X Men '97 and? on uh, Disney Plus, and? loving it. Okay. My one, my one thing is, is what the fuck is up with Magneto's outfit? No, oh, so, I haven't watched it yet. So okay. Uh, but this is a show that knew it knew what its lesson was. It knew it knew the job. It knew what it, what is the phrase? It knew what the assignment was. It understood the assignment. It, it did because. They didn't change the theme song, oh, nice. but they but they made the animation just as it like they followed it, but they made it better. That's cool. Okay. No, like the the animation. The animation, the, yeah. Yeah. I guess like, because like I know I sent you guys that picture of the whole uh, the of, whole uh, opening sequence. I know, but I don't know what clip that's from. But the whole opening sequence. Yeah. Oh, the, I do. Yeah, yeah. It's it's there. Nice. Um. But Magneto, once anybody sees that, please tell me what you think. Magneto, what the fuck is up with his outfit? Of all the parts of clothing that you decide, hey, I would like to remove this part, I'm still wondering why. David Bowie's codpiece? No. You watch and, and just wonder what were the choices on that. But loved the way that it... it like took characters in, in whole new directions and uh hmm. the voice a lot of the voice actors are the same some of them are different but uh it, it is a show that you could just jump into you don't have to re-watch all of the other x-men you could just jump in and watch it because it is kind of it, it'll fill you in cool you know if you haven't you know but highly highly recommend it for, as just a fun show we should probably take one more commercial break and then we probably should. Let's take on the show. Let's take a commercial break. 
Mm. And there's there's actually another sequel being filmed in parts around here, actually, that I'm fairly interested in. Beetlejuice 2. Yeah, Beetlejuice, oh. Beetlejuice. And the thing is, if you have a title called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, then you have to make a third one then. Called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Well, let's see how the second one is. That'll, that'll again, I'm a little, his, I'm a little worried baby. because the first one was so good. I, 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 yeah. It's and is Alec Baldwin going to be able to thin down for that role? <laughs> hey, well, they, they, well, they give him a gun. That's what I'm worried about. Oof. Too soon. Oof. I thought my joke was bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sure. Two, is, is he w. is he in is he in Beetlejuice too? I don't think I, he I don't is. Think so I, I, I know that my own writer and um her mother Michael Keat Michael Keat Michael Keat of course um, yeah um the woman that plays her mother is in it and I think those are the oh, only she's in it too yeah the the you know Macaulay Culkin's mom and yeah uh, oh, I can't remember her name she's a great actress yeah but uh yeah I know that three of the original cast are in it. It would be nice though if they brought in um, Gina. Uh, Gina. We can't hear you, Chris. He's muted. Yep. Catherine, O'Hara. Catherine O'Hara. Catherine O'Hara. Oh, O'Hara. Yeah, Catherine O'Hara. Yeah. How do we not mm-hmm. remember Catherine? O'Hara? Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, Jenna Ortega, uh, yeah. Monica Bellucci. Yeah, Jenna Ortega is Winona Ryder's daughter. I know that. Yeah, uh, Monica Bellucci? Bellucci. Monica Bellucci. Oh, Bellucci. I thought you said Bellucci. Willem Dafoe and Justin Thoreau. They yeah, Justin Thoreau, yeah. Also in it. Who stole Appar- my body? Apparently, the uh, the sandworms are uh, controlled by uh, Justin Thoreau's penis. That could be it. Uh, that could be it. Um, I figure Matt and Chris have seen it by now. Uh, the trailer for. Ooh, yes. Uh, Acolyte. The Acolyte for Star Wars. Yeah. It looks fucking awesome. <laughs> I like I that have a few reservations, high. but I will give it a shot. Yeah, I think it looks amazing. I like that it's High Republic. I thought we were going to get like just a couple years before That's um, like years Phantom Men. It? The Phantom no, Men. No, it's going to be like a couple hundred years, like a hundred years. I, th- I, th- I thought yeah. I read a hundred. I thought I just read 100 years, but it's supposed to take place in the High Republic era. So that's its own but, shit. I'm excited. I, you know, I was, I, because I really wanted it to be about Plagueis, and I was like, oh, never mind. But, uh, the Jack only thing I know that I'm gonna probably cringe at, even though it was in, you know, it's in Legends, you know, is the, the the fucking lightsaber whip. I'm gonna it's just gonna bother bother me. But oh, did they did they show that? They they have it in the artwork. Okay. It's not okay. in the trailer, but yeah, they're okay. gonna have a lightsaber. Well, whip spoilers. Right yeah. Spoilers, but you know that's something that's also been in in the comics. And that's like what I'm saying. It's been in the comics, but it's like so. it's still it's just like. Uh, it was it was a bound to happen. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, it had to, ha- it had to happen. Someday. I think I think the character Lyra is it Lyra? I can't remember her name, but she's she's kind of like a post Darth Vader figure that kind of appears in the kind of comics that come after Return of the Jedi. So, I mean, it's not canon at this point; it doesn't matter. But that's the first character that we, we see with the whip. Little Star Wars trivia there as we sign off for the night. And thank you guys are if you guys have your NCAA brackets and you had Kentucky going pretty far way. in the tournament. No. They lost to Oakland. Kentucky so, lost already. Wow. To Oakland. That, that, they just busted like eight, 90% of people's brackets. Oakland. Yeah. There's all there's always that one where you go, come on, really? Oakland? And to all my Kentucky neighbors living here in Indiana. Arizona, you. Arizona, Tennessee. Calling it. Anyway, Tennessee, I, I, th- I have Tennessee going pretty far, but yeah, Oakland, I, I, if Oakland they make it to the final over. four, I'll be happy, you know, because we've made it to the elite eight, but we've never made it to the final four, so I would like it. Well, San Diego State has. Oh, they made well, it to the finals last year. Uh, also, happy anniversary, Deadwood 20 years. I can't believe it's been 20 years. That's since crazy. Deadwood first aired. Happy, happy anniversary, you <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> you San Francisco cocksucker. Do they say that in there too? Yeah, yeah. There's a okay. there's a cocksucker from San Francisco. So. Uh, okay. UConn. Well, they just okay. use that word so many. Times. UConn Huskies. Let's go. Yeah, Purdue yeah. might go all the way too. I hate UConn. Anyway, uh, hey, that's all we got. Any what? Just be careful, okay? Chris's home state of Rhode I, Island. I know. I know. Borders. I know. So is Massachusetts my actual home state? Is it? Yeah, actually, really? Mike, I'm. I think I might get 
sent to Houston instead. I, I was might have to go to Massachusetts for a demo soon. But we'll see. Where? Uh, it's the town just south of Boston. Hey, Chris is going to recommend some restaurants you don't go to. <laughs> Chris yeah. is already like, how far south in Boston? It's for it's for Eversource, um, which is like a utility there. Uh, it's great podcasting. It's so yeah. good. It's John, the retired guy says, I hate college sports. I don't think anyone asked you, John. Just saying. Wait, if you didn't have college sports, then how would you have pro athletes? Like, they just appear out of nowhere. They well, college like... athletes are now pro. I mean, they got that, was it sure, NI, sure. NA, NIA or whatever it is that they. Well, gets, so it's like Caleb Wood. Was it Caleb Woods? The Not Caleb Woods. What's, what's the. Is it Westwood, Nick? No. Who's the star quarterback going to be drafted number one? He made more money in college than he's going to make as a pro mm. at first. NIL. Wow. That's right. Thank you, my main Mike. Do I so he's, go, he's going back to school to get his master's. <laughs> now he was just going because he had a house, a car. Norwell. Or... Norwell? Yeah. Name, image, and likeness. Well, on that note, on that note, it's wild and wacky. Let's say sayonara. Sayonara. Are we going to be here next Thursday again, guys? Does that work for Caleb Williams? Thank you. Um, Lord Will. I'm iffy because my company's convention is here all next week. Um, I'm probably, I'm like at 50 50 right now. We'll see. I'll be here. No way. I'll be here. No, actually, I won't. Sorry. I just remembered I'm going to be in Ohio. So should we just take next week off? I suppose so. There you go. All right. Sorry. So for those who subscribe and listen to us, next week we will be you can off. go fuck yourself. There'll be no <laughs> banana in There's your no pocket. Banana in the tail pipe. Yeah. And no verses. We'll get to that next week. Um, you know, when we come back. So and uh that was a fun versus, not just because I won, but uh it is nice <laughs> to have bragging rights. Maybe he meant Norwood. I mean, three out of five guys. Yeah, like, come on. Just, no bananas for you. Yeah, he spelt it Norwell, but I think he means Norwood. So actually, real close to you, Chris. Yeah. All right. So you, can go, you can go to Massachusetts and ignore Chris. Thank right, you, guys. Joanne. With the pl- did you say the names? No, we're going to take next week off. But at this time, we're going to thank all our patrons. But we're going to thank four in particular who reached a certain level: Eckhart Richter, Glappler, Maggie, that magnificent. Do we have any emails? I don't think so. <laughs> Joanne with a plan. We're, we already passed that. And Ed, <laughs> the creepy, poopy letter carrier. Thanks for what you do, and thanks for everyone who joins us in the chat. And that's all we got. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we did get some. Oh. We got three, actually. Jeez. Three. Yeah. Dude, we were right there. Let me, let me, let me we right it's there. Like, I just imagine like it's like Chris is trying to lock up the yes. The we have no Apple bananas. store, and somebody is like, we "Hey, have no bananas. oh, sorry, right there." All right. The banana in the ring. We we do ask for these emails, by the way. What it's did Spartacus? Our own fucking laziness that we. What did Spartacus say when the lion ate his wife? I don't know. Uh, Nothing. He was glad he ate her. <laughs> uh, dude, that's Randy, huh? It's Randy. All right. I, that's I'm good not one, sure. If I'm, I like it. I'm getting He's, that he one. We actually got a proper one too from Randy. Oh, oh, a proper one from Randy. Yeah. Okay. Titled Northern Exposure. Ooh. Hi, gents. You know who you are. <laughs> Northern Exposure is my favorite t- TV show of all time. The really? show had six seasons on CBS from 1990 to 1995. After that, it was briefly in syndication for a year or so on A&E Channel. It's a funny, quirky show about a fish-out-of-water New York doctor being assigned to work in remote Alaska and the oddball characters that live there. I've seen some of the episodes. Yeah, I've oh, seen- yeah. I've seen I've seen some Northern Exposure. Speed Actors okay. so in Cliffhanger's smoke show. Uh, there is great use of music and little literary references. It never really got much notice after it disappeared from syndication. Apparently, the oh, <laughs> apparently the music rights were too expensive to make it available for home or streaming. That makes sense. Oh. However, just recently, it has become available on Amazon Prime streaming service. I highly recommend it. The I first few seasons it. have a limited number of episodes, as it was was originally a summer replacement show. And unfortunately, the last season is not as good with a change in writers and the lead actor, Rob Moreau, leaving to do movies. Yet the last season is still worth Whatever watching. Whatever happened to him? I don't know. Uh, for, for 
or Final Cut. Right? I haven't seen it since it left syndication in the late '90s, but I added it on Amazon Prime Watch for the first time, so I can watch it. I'm going to start a rewatch soon. Have you seen Northern Exposure? If not, give it a try. Hmm. I have seen. It. I I know I didn't watch. It's it been it's week. been a long time since I've seen it, but uh, yeah, the guy I that played the, is the guy that plays the. Is there a mayor? The guy that plays the mayor. I think he is. He, I know he's in Better. He's Call from Saul. San Diego. No, he's in Better Call Saul. See, oh, just sit there. He's the guy that is the guy that doesn't want to give up his house. Oh, nice. Mm, mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So there you go. And we have another email from Canada. I'm trying to think of who that is. Canada. Yeah. Chris the flu, like, the fucking show is way. over. Why Please. are we reading these emails? Fuck. What's up, Jess? Hello, Matt, Boston, Jack, and Nick. Wow. Oh, I wasn't last. Yeah. Now that you guys have picked your bands, I'm curious if you've seen The Greatest Night in Pop. It's a documentary on Netflix about how the song and video for We Are the World was created. I've not seen mm. that yet. And the night it was recorded. It was a fun watch to see so many 80s artists in the same room. It was really cool. You check your grammar, Jess. Uh <laughs> Wow! Jeez! Wow! Uh, Fuck! If that, if, if that would have been any other listener, I would have I would have booted you out of the show. But it's Jess, so it's okay. It's Jess, exactly. That's why we can pick on her. Uh, <laughs> I don't pick, but go ahead. Pick I'd say away. the least half of the artists are still alive and still making music. The music business has changed so much since then, and not in a good, and not for the good. Sadly, Boston. I just did a full watch of Cheers. I highly recommend Ooh. watching it. Oh, fuck. That's another show I need to rewatch. Yeah. I remember yeah. some of some of it as a kid, but not much, and greatly enjoyed the show as an adult. Yeah. I agree with Jack. The Rebecca years are much better than the Diane years. I, I agree as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, when Shelley left, it allowed the rest of the cast to get more episodes in... Oh, and Shine. Okay. Uh and it made more of an ensemble cast show. That is all. Keep up the great work, fellas. Just the Canadian. All right. Well, thanks. Like yeah. She signed it that Except way. for the grammar, it was a great. No, idea. she didn't sign it that way. Okay. <laughs> uh, I agree. I, I my, I, I guess because that's I grew up watching the Rebecca years because I was too young for the Diane years. But I always liked the Rebecca years. It was just a different show. It was funny and like I just is right. It was an ensemble cast at that point. Instead of just being about uh, Diane and will they, won't yes. they? You know? Yeah. And not nothing at Shelley Long. Mm. I do like that episode where they're at the drive-in theater and, and, and someone leaves the Godzilla franchise and, and what he goes, why would an actress leave a successful yeah. TV show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know. I, I do just, remember that. It's just like slam. The old third, the old third wall. <laughs> um, and to, to just this point about the, the documentary, I think that's on Hulu, if if I'm not mistaken, did I freeze? I can't, I can't remember. Hey, but yes, you did, Jack. He's I'm laughing at least. At least I'm on episode three of the uh, of the American Gladiators documentary right now. Oh, it's good. It, it's good, isn't it? It's really good. Yeah. What is that on? Netflix. Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah. Five I, five episodes, I believe. I yeah. have heard though that We Are the World uh, documentary is actually really good. So that yep. once you get past the first like thirty or twenty minutes of it of them on song, like because it's about like how do we get all these artists mm. together. Mm-hmm. That after that is over, it, that's when it gets really good. So it's a okay. little four at the beginning, but said so after that, it's great. Do they do they uh, touch on the fact why are they all having their sheets with the words in front when it's just "We are the world"? <laughs> why do they? We are why the do they, children. We, why do they need the? the you know, well, wow, wow, wow. I mean, there. I mean, I didn't understand why they couldn't memorize their their one line. They had to. Uh, well, it finally explains also from what I've heard is like why when they show Bob Dylan, he's just kind of going like he's not really singing. It's because mm. they wanted he's... him there. But if you couldn't hit the note, then don't sing. They actually Quincy Jones says that if you know you cannot hit this range, don't oh. sing. Huh. And, so and, wh- and why sing. was and why was Dan Aykroyd there? Because he's Blues Brothers. Blues yeah, Brothers. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's, the, that's the biggest thing I got from that. I go, is that Dan Aykroyd? Well, um, Summer of Soul, it's on Hulu, worth checking out. Um, 
it's it's uh and you don't have to wait long for it to get good but there's some really great performances so uh, i was just going to add that to jess's recommendation on the the documentary music documentary summer of soul i I, I gotta watch that anyway um anyway thanks for doing what you do thanks for everybody that joined us live see you next two weeks we'll be back i think we have some more (laughs) bye-bye all right guys hasta luego and goodbye Bye. See y'all. Jack's having a good time. I'm having a good time.